Hi everyone, Paul ISM, and welcome to Friday Night's Live at the Bank Show. So, we're back with our full show. Um, we had to skip a week because we got ahead of ourselves in the weeks um, of, I think it was July. Um, so, we had another build night last week, and uh, we're back tonight with our full show. So, we've got what we've been buying, what we've been building. Uh, we've got Tim's latest kit releases. We've got Dan looking at your work on the Facebook page and the forum. Questions from the crew with Graham. Uh, questions from you guys and girls in the chat as well. Uh, we've got some new UMP products to have a look at and um discuss which we'll go to in a minute uh and we've got some prizes as well so tonight again from frey at model emporium dot shop we've got dragon uh three-ton cargo truck very nice kit uh very kind of donated it's got the flak uh 38 in the back of it as well so very very nice and that even comes with an ak paint set for it as well in german panzer very, nice. so very kind of donated by frey so all you gotta do to win that uh, and a UMP goodie bag as well at some point to, through the night. Two separate prizes is uh, watch, wait until you're prompted, pick a number from one to a thousand, after five minutes to do a live random number generator, and you literally win it for free at random. That's it. Uh, we've also got a UMP goodie bag to give away for our favorite build of the week in Dan section as well. So make sure you stay tuned. And um, yeah, we might try something different tonight, which I actually forgot to discuss with this, guys, but I'll message you a lot in a minute. Mm. I think Sam might remember, and Norman might as yeah. well. Um, and that's it, really. So stay tuned. We'll be here for the next probably three, four hours or so. And uh, like I say, if you've got any questions in the chat, pop a question mark in front of them. We'll get to them as we can. And if you've got any questions for the crew, the post up on the forum, Greg? Uh, yes. Facebook page. Yes. Uh, and the live of the bench page. Yes. Yeah, I haven't noticed where it was this week at all. Uh, yes. And as Frey says, Haribo sweets and a discount card as well, or hairdo sweets, apparently. Uh, I can't do space. Yeah, uh, Fraser also included some Haribos, which are over there, and this five cent discount card as well. Cool. Um, and that's that. So, be a good week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bad at all. Yeah. Good. Uh, we got with us tonight. We got Graham. We got Dan. We got Norman. We got Sam. We got John. We got Tim. We got me as well. So, hope everybody's had a good week and you have a good weekend and what have you. So, there we are. That's it. Um, right. Uh, should we read that chat first and then we can crack on? Yeah. We'll a, few, a few things. I'll do a bit and I'll pass it on to you, Graham. Is that right? Carry on. Uh, Thermo New Killer, Bobinson. He's changed his name again. <laughs> There's what? There you go. Uh, Adam's there. Challenges this evening, fellow Pasca artist, me and Matilda. That's his young daughter. Hey. Tuning in. Wow. Out, the missus is out boozing. So there you go. Uh, Phil saying hello, things. Yeah, great. Uh, Andy from Aces High Hobby says hi, diddly ho, need model arenos. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Regnet, Regnet Railroad says hello, oh, I hope you're having a good day. Indeed. Uh, Paul Shaplin says evening goal, Joe's Mobile Kit says evening all, hope everyone has a great weekend and a great show to get us in the mood for a weekend of modeling. There you go. Uh, Cy Dennis says good evening, good evening goal, uh, hope this Friday night finds you all well. Uh, Andy Keller says hey, mad chatters and crew, everyone has a good week, it's Friday. Uh, Schoolfish Chase says, how do all? Happy Friday evening, relaxing with the crew. Hannah's there, good evening, everyone. Uh, Luke says, saying good evening, folks. Happy Friday to all. Hey, Luke. Hello. Uh, Tim's there, saying hello. Norman's there, saying hello. Oddball says, good evening, friends and neighbors. Uh, James Buckingham says, morning, guys. Ethics there, saying hello, lads. And Jamie Garvin's. Uh, Garvin, sorry, says good evening, everyone. Uh, John Sharps and Chas saying good evening, uh, Smurf murderers. Graham <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> says good evening from Sherwood Forest, wherever that is. Andrew Haycock says saying evening, Gaul. And the mighty G117 says hi, all. I'll let you go now, Graham, if you want. Um, I'm just trying to shut my googly thing down, mate. It's oh, okay, I'll carry on. Google break up oh, yeah, googly thing down. Oh. Sounds painful. Uh, up to, there we go. Uh, Dan Admin says, Good evening, all. I'm here for a long goal tonight as the missus is away. Excellent. Uh, Matt there saying hello, all. Tony's there saying evening, all. Uh, John Stone, Banana Man's there saying greetings to the plastic and on the sprue crew. Uh, Stephen Southport says hello, all the plastic fanatics from Southport. Good evening to Paul and the sprue crew. Hello. Good evening. Uh, Mark Scale Model says hi, all. Scale Model Vamps is evening. All from cold South Africa. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Senior Uber Bill says hello from sunny, uh, sunny, sunny California. Very nice. 
Right. Uh, John's there, Scotland Mother, saying hi as all. Hi, John. Hi, John. Uh, Cam says hi, everyone. Hope you're all well. Don's there, saying hi, everyone. Hey, Don. Uh, I can't say that name. Typhoon, typhoon. That will do. Says hello. Uh, Willie Max says hi all to the. Polystyrene. Yeah, that one is great. Many ah, uh, clever. Even to all in the chat, have you all the good week and even better weekend. <sighs> Bloody Wi Fi's gone down now. Carry on. Uh, Stephen Potts is evening all. Have you all a great week? Uh, Joe's all the kisses. Very nice kit indeed. It is in a very nice price. Uh, hey, Mika says hi all. Uh, phrase there as well. John Henley says evening goal. Leaky Friday, no chance. Uh, John Howes says good evening from Doncaster here for a great night's entertainment with you all. Uh, Ray Aquilina says evening, my friends and uh, guys. Ray from Malta, hello. Hi, Ray. Ray. Uh, Anthony says evening goal. Anthony Eddie Harmon. Or Harmon. What? I've no idea what Phil's on about. <laughs> That's all. Eric says saying hi. All Claire's there saying hi, everyone. Alex BB says evening, guys. Hope you're all well. Last uh, this is evening. Goal. It's Stella time. Uh, Stuart says an evening. Hello, Sprite Fiddlers. <laughs> okay. Hope you all have a good week on the bench. Fair enough. Uh, Frey saying hello to everybody. Scott Scorey's there saying, hey, fellas and ladies, nice to be here. Alan Punk says, evening plastic fillers. Hope the plastic gods have been good to you all. Uh, Stuart lost his aunt this week. So to hear that, Stuart. Mm. Sorry about that, Stuart. I nearly, I nearly made a joke, man. Sorry, Stuart. No, we don't do that. No. Uh, Eric says, hope you all have a great weekend. Uh, Michael Lance says, evening goal. Scott said, two kids no sleep. Saying, hi, ho, gents. Happy Friday. Uh, Chris says hello. How everyone had a good week. Uh, Mr. Gow says, "Evening, model fans, buzzing for the show. Excellent." Eric says, "Yay, you said my name. I officially exist." Um, and that's it. Just one put red to here. We're done. I'll do that. I've just lost my Wi-Fi temporarily, but I'm back. Right. So I need to grab a few things. Oh, hang on. Just fell on the floor. Oh! I haven't got my prop. Give me one sec. Right. So, we've got a couple of new products at UMP that get my light on. This week, you might have seen it on the Facebook page, we've got some new sanders. So, these are our new customizable sanding sheets. So, uh, we've got a starter set, which is that one. So, in there, you get the 240, 400, 800, and 1200, one of each. And then we've got them all in their separate packs in which you get three of each to a pack in the 240, 400, 800, and 1200 grits. They are orange and yellow on the back as the other ones are and um, black and white for the others. So you can tell them apart if you can't feel the grits. Uh, this is what they look like out of the packet. So it's basically a one mil sheet of styrene with our um, same sand and sheet we have on our thinny sticks. Um, but the beauty of this is you can cut these, so you can literally cut them to any shape you want. With a sharp pair of scissors or a knife, you can cut nice thin slivers or points that can get right in there. I tried these out yesterday. These literally arrived here yesterday. Uh, I tried them out last night and got right in where some sanders won't get to. And the files work well, but they can leave a little bit of a rough edge. Whereas these, because you've got all the different grits, they get right in there. Uh, and they're really good and they're really easy to cut as well if I can get a, a blade I'll show you probably take my hand off now Everyone get ready on the screenshot Blood spurt absolutely everywhere There you go Score across it a few times And there you go, you got a nice sharp point That will get right in the corner, you can do curves I've seen many applications Oh yeah yeah, especially for figures, you'll get right in there, won't you, with them? Uh, and you, like I say, you can cut them with scissors or grab with scissors too. They're a little bit tougher to cut with scissors. But with scissors, at least you can get their proper curve that way. So obviously, if you're trying to... Try, it's hard trying to think of a random shape. Batman symbol. That's, a good one. That's oh. not random. Yeah, hang on. That'll, that'll be a good one. So yeah, you can do curves, squares, 
rectangle. Dun, 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 Anything and everything there. So they're really, you know, useful, customizable. And then they're, they're all on the site now as well. Tim's going for about those for later on. So go on and have a look. And uh, I will probably do a video of these over the weekend as well. Um, because we get asked so many questions. It's easy to have a video just to show people. Um, the other things we've got as well. Uh, the Tammy Extra Thin Holders. You can find mine. There it is. There we go. Put stuff on me draw. Oh my God, I'm prepared. <laughs> Tammy Extra Thin Holders. They're back in, well, full restock. And they're in different colours now as well. I'm a bit whited out there. Give me a sec. Uh, they're fully back in stock now as well. All different colours as well. Um, they're all up in the site in different colours. And Lee has been busy. And we've got a printed... Um... Did you just say Lee? Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes, I did. Yeah. Um, we got a decal solutions holder. So this fits your microset and your microsol. And another decal solution you, you can fit in there like the, um, the decal film one. The whole yeah. sheet of brushes as well. This is my one. This is in blue because I've got a blue tech holder as well. The production ones are in like a brownish plastic color. They are on the site if you want to have a look. But very yeah. handy because we all know what these are like to fall over. They'll fall over if you sneeze at them or breathe at them. Um, so very handy tool as well. They're on the site as well, as well as all the different colors of these. Now, I think we've got red, blue, black, white. Um, I think there's orange. There's all sorts on there, literally. So head on over there and have a look. Tim's got more details later on. And like I say, I'll do a video on these over the weekend at some point. So you can have a little bit of a closer look. And there we go. Never mind on the sounder. Excellent. So yeah, head on over and have a look. And there you go. That was paid for and brought to you by UMPRetail.com. <gasps> how dare he? Thumbs up. <laughs> what about a plug? I've moved away from that one. No, I, yeah, right. So yeah, have a look retail, have a look and you can uh, <coughs> get that uh, on the www.umpretail.com as well. Yeah, blue tack and a block of wood. Well done, Mike. Oh, that's the way to do it. Could do that. You can also, yeah, anyway. Uh there we are. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you need to talk about that we've got on the go? <coughs> no, I don't think so. No? No, uh, nothing interesting. No? Just my hands and good looks. You know. That's not that's not something to talk about. Yeah, I, I meant truthful things, Mum. Kids are bad, you know. Should we do a giveaway? Should we do the goodie bag giveaway first? Yeah. Anyway, right. Treat them. So, we've got a UMP goodie bag to give away for myself and Lee. You can use these or tree bark or whatever but there's some sanders <laughs> pencils sweet stickers etc etc in there uh you can buy these on our site as well they're not a bag anymore they're in a box because we're out of bags um but all you gotta do to win that is look for when graham prompts in the chat start numbers now uh you've got a timer on screen from norman there you can see you have five minutes pick a number between one and one thousand and after five minutes you stop it do a live random number generator and you win it at random it's very quick very quick very simple and very easy. Just pick one number, though, um, and David needs some advice. Five. Huh? Too quick, then, for myself. <laughs> yeah. uh, there we go. Right, are you ready, Norman? Um, yeah. In three, two, one, start. Number start now. There we go. Don't forget, just one number, peeps. And John, they are one, one millimetre thick. Sorry, mate, I didn't see your question. Right, looking for a question from David. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that as well. Yes, yeah, got definitely fairies again, mate. Oh, my God. Definitely been a full moon all week on Facebook. Or some really <laughs> very strange people. It's always full moon on Facebook. Come on. Been mental, me and Graham just dealing with people who are just completely nuts. <laughs> Listen, Sonny. <laughs> yeah, I'll expect my apology via PM. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Oh, have you had enough one of them messages? I missed them messages. Oh, uh, it was funny. I'm really swore. Um, so David Powell says he's struggling to find the perfect German grey blue for the Dora. That's you mean a uh, big gun? It's just German grey, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree. Yeah. Right. Uh, Two. 63, is it? Yeah. Your yeah. That Dora. Is that a Dora in 135, 172? If it's 35, I go with spray cans. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I say, 
uh, Tamir rattle can for your best bet if you're doing. I, I'd like even that. go bigger than Tamir. I'm gonna say I'd take it out local body shop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they'd be uh, easy. Yeah, I'd be getting um, full size rattle cans for. Print off a Sports Your XS63 and take it down to the local well, car park. You, you know what? You'll probably find you'll probably find you'll be able to buy on eBay large can, like I say, large cans because you can buy all the olive drabs in massive cans. We bought we bought some to do a Jeep. Yeah, you should be able to. Yeah, you should be able to buy German colours. Well. One seventy seconds. Uh, one seventy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you'll be able. I mean, German grey will do you, mate. Yeah, a couple of to me, German grey. XF sixty three. Uh, Adam Lushkin says best compressor around one hundred and fifty quid. This is getting old and wants an upgrade. Spar Max six ten all day long. It costs about one hundred and sixty. A little bit more, but it's your best. But you'll get your money. I've just, I've just got one again. I want to say that my next purchase because this one's on its way out. Yeah, my so it's been on its way out for years. I've prepared it three times. <laughs> yeah, definitely get a Sparmox. They are good. From air-craft.net as well. I've heard that's good. That's got completely randomly butchered sanders and random shapes I'll never use. <laughs> oh. uh, that'll be good for your cuticles on your nails. To be fair. You haven't seen his nails, have you? Actually, I've seen John's nails as well. John's nail. Oh, God, no. <laughs> what's, what's wrong with the one nail then? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it gives me the willies. John, show it on camera. No, don't. And his nail gives you the willy. It's creepy. Uh, that's just weird. Yeah. It's just because I know what it's used for. That's what worries me. The modeling. Yeah, yeah. Bogies. Yeah. Here. <laughs> out under the other fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> At your uh, moment there. Right. Yeah. Oh, John. Hey, John. <laughs> you, you, you've always got to keep one now longer than the others to clean, help clean out the others. You know, yeah. it's just what yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah there, are things called, there are things called nail brushes and yeah. files. and You could then use the cocktail stick to clean your teeth. So, double win. Yeah. Nice. Works even better, of course, whatever's under your nails is a bit green. Oh, for a minute, people. One, minute. Oh, one minute, one minute. John's asking how thick is the sanding material on top of the plastic? Oh, minuscule, microns thin, very thin. Um, so there's no, there's no padding under it or anything no, like the thin no, sticks. No, it's right. totally. Weird. I couldn't even measure it, John. It, it's ultra thin. Um, yeah, that's um, yeah, that's good because they, they they should stay pretty solid then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I used it last night. I was using it on the uh, transmission of the RS and build, and there's normally areas I can't get to. I just have to scrape it with a knife, and it never leaves mm. the best finish. And um, actually, try it with the brilliant. Right in there, no bother at all. Perfect. And obviously, because you've got the different uh, grit grades, you can get right in there. No, no sponge to it all, John. Completely hard. Cool. Completely hard. Ten seconds, peeps. You ready, John? Uh, Graham. Yeah. Three. Number and you better be quick. One. Number stop. Stop numbers. Ah. Right, and it helps with a share before we turn the page over, doesn't it? It does. Right, there we go. Is that sharing? It is. Right, ignore the three. It was already there. We're not doing 10,000. Oh, all that. Oh, God, I forgot it does that. Get out of it. Right, so we're on Google's random number generator. Like I say, ignore the three that was already there. So I'm going to click this one, someone tell me that'll be the. Uh, why are we going to RIP in the chat? Anyway, uh, oh, I see. Yeah, probably for. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm going to click this one, someone tell only. That'll be the winning number. Uh, as always, if two people pick the same number, uh, the first person to pick it automatically wins. And if you think you know who's one, please don't shout out in the chat. These guys will check it and once they're the winner, Graham will announce it. So the winning number for the UMP goodie bag is 253. 253. Let's have a look, shall we? 253. 
There we go. Actually, don't forget to stick around because our main prize tonight is that. Uh, that paint set kind of donated by Frey over at Model Emporium Dock Shop. So head on over there and have a look. I'll be uh, heading out just as we're doing that one, so I, I could enter a number, I think. Oh, yeah. That's a damn good kit. It's a nice kit, it really yeah. is. Very nice kit. Yeah. And they are not cheap to buy, as we know from the word. Uh, yeah, the second, second prices are a bit silly, aren't we? They are crazy. Um, so it's probably what with that paint set, it's probably about 60 odd quid's worth there, easy. That for now, more like 70 quid, you reckon? Yeah, yeah those are all pretty much all dragon kits. If you've got to buy them now, about 60 odd quid. Yeah, it's extortionate, isn't yeah, it? And they're about a tenner for a paint set, so yeah, you're about 70 odd quid's worth of product there. Yeah, I concur with that, John. Yeah, <laughs> uh, there were two that were three or one. Uh, the kit number, John, is 6828. Cool looking vehicle. It is very nice. That flacker on the back is cool. Yeah. Willie Max says, Sharpie, cheers for the video on decanting. I did it for the first time today with varnish with some success. Uh, did you manage to get the blue paint off your fingers? Yeah, no, no blue paint left. All gone. Use your special nail. Yeah, yeah <laughs> confirm. I should go use that for time. <laughs> oh, even better. That tastes good as well. We're just taking this nail varnish off. <laughs> yeah. Go on, Graham, when you're ready, mate. Yeah, well done. I'll agree on that. Yeah, totally so agree. for the UMP goodie bag, uh, Paul used the Google random number generator, which pulled out the number 253. And the closest to that was uh, Luke Carswell, Black Rifle Model Work with 252. Oh, well, well done, done, Luke. Well done, Luke. Well done, Luke. I've already got your address there, mate. So uh, I get down the post here. Well done, buddy. Congrats. So, um, like I say, stick around. We've still got the goodie bag to give away for our favorite build in Dan's bit. Uh, and we've got the lovely Dragon German cargo truck to give away later on as well. So fantastic. Are you sure, Luke? Good man. There you go. Luke's donated the models for heroes. Well yeah, done. Nice one, mate. Luke? Awesome. That will come in very, very handy. Thank you. Yeah, well done, guys. Well done. There we go. Right. Um, what should we do first? Should we do... How can we do your questions for the crew, Graham? Okie dokie. <laughs> just have a I'll just spring it on you quickly. No, that's okay. Um, so don't get every week when we work you and I remember I didn't put them up till last night, so it's from we. I'm terrible for getting I know, I know, I know. Um, we I'm put questions for the crew. Have you got any questions you want to ask us? Modern related, preferably not where somebody has gone to or something. We'll yeah, modern related be good. Uh, pop it up and we'll try and answer them as we can. Yeah, all right. Oh, no, that's Dan's. That's not mine. I got confused for I wasn't any posted on yours. Yeah. There we go. So on Facebook, the main Facebook group, we have two questions. First one from Scott Shorey says, uh, going to try some miniature painting. Will a wet palette really change my life and up my my weak painting skills? Your thoughts, please. I'll be using acrylics on this Reaper Bones Yafima Cloud Giant. I think she looks good in black Vallejo Primer. I would have to say definitely yes. I've never used one, but from what I hear, they are a very worthy yeah absolutely you make them, aren't you? make them pretty easy yeah dead easy to make um a bit of a uh, bit of sponge or anything like that you know a bit of this like packing sponge stuff will do um that you get in boxes or whatever a bit of that bit of um tracing paper or baking parchment over the top and away you go and just a little sandwich tub um yeah it's just so good because you can put your paint out and you're mixing all your colors on the palette um, if you did that on a, a tile or anything like that, it's going to go dry very quickly and you're going to have to try and mix that colour again, perhaps. But with the wet palette, just put the lid on and leave it and it'll stay wet for weeks, really. The only thing that, the only downside is obviously because there's water in there, eventually it gets damp and goes a bit smelly, but the paint will stay usable for weeks, potentially, if it's a good one. And if you've got an Apex airbrush, your case for that makes a very good. Yeah, yeah, it would. Would be a good one. That'll work. Um, oh. Scott saying did we talk about synthetic versus natural sable? I think that was last week, that wasn't it? Mm -hmm. We did, Scott. Yeah, we basically said that 
really you're probably best leaving the synthetic or weathering like oils and things and keeping your uh, natural ones for water based paints yeah that was basically the gist of it i think if i remember right yeah acrylics um acrylics are really good um because they're, they're, they're quite forgiving really um and if you use a bit of little a couple of drops of the vallejo retarder just it keeps it uh wetter for longer so you can move it around on the figure and stuff and um yeah it's really good really good but definitely get a wet palette sorted dead easy yeah so that's that anybody else dan dan you're the figure man dan dan the figure man i don't think dan's there oh where'd he gone i'm not on the hangout screen so uh, I'm John. And I was about to show it, but I just realised mine's got mouldy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was saying? Because it's got water in. What about yeah. your wet palette? Yeah, yeah. Um, I I tend to find I don't use it very much, but that's probably just me. It's um, yeah. Virtually everyone else says they're a great thing to have and use. It's, Probably just the way I paint figures, it doesn't really work for me, but you know, it's there if I need it. Yeah. Mm. Cool. There you go. Oh, that's helped you, Scott. And the other question is from Cam, Jonathan Kaminsky. Don't forget to subscribe to, if you look for Cam in the chat, K -A -M, -M, subscribe to his channel. He does some really good sci fi stuff, a lot of scratch building. Uh, hi, guys. I hope this question is okay and not something you've been asked too many times. Uh, what are or would be your holy grail model kits? Existing ones you don't own and or model kits you would like to see produced? Mmm. Well, my holy grail one is literally there. That's my 12-scale Tamiya MP4-6. It's in Senna's car, and I've got all the top studio stuff in there. Like, everything you can get for it, so I will get it at some point. Uh, kits that aren't made. Ooh, so many. Mine's easy. We need to start all the groupie rally cars at the minute, and loads of other cars that aren't made. But yeah, I know, I know I'd like to have the uh, resin cast full resin um, comet. That's an amazing kit. Never, yeah. we we'll never get one though. No. Cool. I would like to see uh, a good, a good Vulcan kit. Hmm. Well, hobby makes that little. Yeah, great, well, hobby do. Yes, one one forty fourth. Yeah, mm. best thing to buy. It's still huge. Is it though? The 1144. Have you seen the thing yeah. at 172? How big it is? Yeah. yeah. It's still good. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, in which case, th that's my question answer then, isn't it? <laughs> there you go then. Oh, I thought that was a pile of. I thought it was either really tiny or not very good. Uh, I, bet, I bet it's still a good size. Okay. How many? How many? I've not actually seen it. <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody? Yeah, uh, the 148 scale Bacara hopefully gets released later this year. I have waited on that kit for donkey's years. And what I would like to see is more 30 foot scale helicopters, mm. like Hells and Lynx and Pumas and all that. I know you can get the Matchbox one and that, but like the Army type ones, the smaller type helicopters are on 30 foot scale. I'd like to see a lot more of them come out. Mm. I'm waiting for the Huh? Six R fours, RS two hundreds. I'm looking yeah, forward to them. Six R fours due out in it, so can we have that man? Get the RS two hundred out as well. Yeah. Dan, no. kits you want to see, or Holy Grail kits you like to own, or uh, no, not really. <laughs> Dan's the easy man. <laughs> I'd like to see a lot more. Figures of you know busts available instead of just being like short production runs. I'd like to see them, you know, made like not like styrene, but you know, something with better detail and yeah. you know. I mean, I mean that King Kong that you've started. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? That's a very short run kit. You'll not yeah. find another one of them. Do you know what I mean? So why why just making short run kits? Why not make it for masses and buy yourself a decent house? Yeah, that's it. You know I, mean? <laughs> I mean, if if I if I got some of the wood good and people wanted it, I'd make a bunch of money and I'd go and buy an house. Yeah, you know what I mean. But, you people know, want it, you'll pay for it. You know, exactly. Sounds like a plan. 
Uh, there we go. A quick question in the chat from David Powell. How hard is it to airbrush? I've, I've a setup, but a bit scared to spoil a kit. Um, basically, Alpha. essentially, it's very easy. But what you need to do is build up muscle memory in your hand. Oh, yes. And that's what makes it easy then. Um, it's, it's like everything. The more you do, the better you get. And the only way you're going to get good is by doing it. So I, I say jump in, buy a cheapish kit, and just go for it. Yeah, you'll learn as you go. You'll learn as you go. What I did um, when I first got one, before I, I went anywhere near plastic or anything, um, I picked a couple of um, pictures out of my, one of my kids' coloring books, and just to get used to f sort of filling in filling spaces because you get used to doing wide space. And obviously, the the paint runs all over the shop because it's paper, but it just gets you used to the different sizes and, and the trigger control a little bit. I found anyway um, worked for me. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Big sheet of plastic and just play around, but it's so easy. A little, honestly, it's so much better. So much better. I just jumped in at the deep end and just spray kits. Made a mess of them. I've very good camo, and you learn as you go. You, yeah. Not something that. That's what I did. Yeah. Yeah, just, it's, it's not something anyone can say to you. Look, you do this, you do this, and do this. You can get a um, general. Um, you can get general advice, but other than that, you yeah, you're on your own, really. To be honest. Yeah. Try Try practice. Like Best way ever. Yeah. Uh Gil's just joining. Good evening, Gil. Um Gil. another question from Scale Model Vamp airbrush question. Probably gonna sound a bit stupid, but the Tamiya Black Airbrush. Any one of you guys have one and how is it to use good investment or not? Not seeing the Tamiya Black Airbrush. No, nope, not so well, I, I don't think we we don't um, see much over here. Not I've, never, I've never seen a black one. <laughs> I knew you. Yeah, no. I knew. As soon as I said that, I looked at it down. Oh, no. And I tried to stay away from you. you that I was watching you. I just couldn't help it. Anyway, I've never seen a black Tamir airbrush. No. Uh, the only ones I can think of, but I don't think they do. I don't think Tamir does a little plastic one, do they? No. A little plastic black one. Don't know. Like the HF ones or the HG ones, something like that. Like yeah, they're all like re, yeah. When they rebadged on what or something? Unless you're thinking of the badger, because they do a lot of black airbrushes. I don't know. Hmm. Um, I saw one the other day. It looked good. Hmm. Well, I've seen one. Don't think we've got them here yet. Ooh, good, luck, good luck on Thursday, Gil. Going in for surgery. Yeah. Good luck, mate. Um, David Everton, I saw this on the group earlier on. Still trying to find some decent Revel 148 109 G10. I think he's after uh, some aftermarket. Um, Hannon's not much good to offer unless I can customize other kit markers, the kit makers' bits. So, yeah, basically, he's got a Revel 148 109 and he wants some aftermarket. Other if than that, got it, you're probably going to struggle. Mm. It, so, Han, is it a Revel kit or is it Hasegawa Rebox? Is the question. Ah, there you what go. You, what you should go on scale mates is the best thing. Type in the kit number and check out the kit history. It will then link in any aftermarket for it because you might you might find this is actually a Hasegawa kit reboxed. So then you can just buy all the Hasegawa re, uh, parts mm. for it. Mm. And if, if you can't get anything for it, sell it, buy a Tamiya because there's tons of stuff for that one and that goes full together. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Davidson's level, but it could be, a, I don't know. Uh, it's hard to tell, but yeah, if Hannon's haven't got it, you're pretty much screwed. Yeah, <laughs> there probably isn't anything for it, or they just haven't got listed for that kit. You need to go hunt at, down what the kit is originally. Mm -hmm. Right, I shall just switch over to Toddle Group. Uh, I can find it. Come on. Oh, come on. Can't find it. Spray work HG airbrush three. Yeah, I'll be honest, mate. I think they're a little bit overpriced though. Sometimes just go for an eye water or a badger. Yeah, I believe they're made by the same factory. That's a rumor as eye water. I don't know if it's true or not. But that's what I was always told. But yeah, look at eye water. You'll probably get more for your money. Okay, and um, we got one question on the at the bench page, which is from uh, John Stone. Bench fan says, hi, sprue crew. I'm just eating a banana. 
Um, but I was wondering, what type of glue would you use to join a small rubber hose to plastic to simulate either the cooling system or hydraulics? It is rubber, by the way. Many thanks, going. I'm just off to eat a banana. <laughs> CA glue. Yeah. Well, I, I'd actually put a uh, put a pin in the part the part you want to glue it to, drill it, and put a little metal pin, and then put the hose over the pin with a bit of glue because it'll make it a lot more secure. Would, would that be the fuel lines on the T90, John? Yeah. When, I, when I'm doing the bike ones, I just use glue. And if, it, if it's thin, thin hose, put a bit of wire inside it so you can shape it and it doesn't kink. Yeah. Um, but CA glue is what I normally use. Uh, but you use PVA or Gator glue or something as well. Mm -hmm. That'll do the job just fine. I'll just have a look. I don't actually think there was anything on the forum, but I'll check again. Just quickly as well, the forums had a whole host of upgrades as well. Thank you to uh, uh, Matthew, who's doing absolutely brilliant work over there. He's now our uh, technical administrator over in the forum. <laughs> And he's changing stuff every day. It's really adding some great features to it. And the forum is going to get a new look as well. Uh, I'm not quite sure when, uh, but it is going to get a brand new skin, they are called. So basically, it's a new look to the forum. Um, so, yeah, keep an eye out to that. Yeah. Um, no questions on the forum this week, but then again, that's my fault because I didn't put the thing up till last night. So that's not surprising. So there you go. Any questions through the night, guys? Just a question mark before you thing in the chat and we'll try and answer it if we can there we go there we go uh, right should we uh should we look what we've been working on yeah <laughs> yeah go on graham yeah. over to you then mate sorry yeah. okay no problem i'll just switch my camera over. Uh, oh what was that thing you were going to message us about paul oh, oh yeah. yeah so this week i have been doing some more work on my um, little Tacom Anamag and V2 Rocket. So I've now got the whole carriage, trailer, whatever you want to call it, assembled. Um, did all the PE last night. And if that'll um, show on there. Tiny ladder, all of individual PE rungs. There's a little ladder on this side and a little metal box underneath. But I did all the photo etch. I put a post on the group last night. I did all the photo etch gluing using this stuff that um, Tim put me onto. Gator's Grip Thin Blend. Uh, it's designed for photo etch. It's blooming amazing. Yeah, good um, yeah, really good. I mean, like CA, you've either got that instant grab, in which case you've got one chance to get it in place, or if you're going to move it around, the CA obviously like starts to mess around with the plastic. It starts, so you can end up with a bit of a tatty join. Whereas that, for a start, it doesn't damage the plastic because it's just PVA, but it's just got enough tack so you can like literally hang the part onto the model and then just move it around with your Twitter. Oh, it's brilliant stuff. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Um, and it, so and it much... really goes wrong. You take it off, bit of water, wipe it away. Yeah, yeah. It's it's fantastic. And it's really strong as well. In fact, I've just noticed I've bent one of the rungs there and I've just managed to just pull that back straight when it's fine. But it's really strong. Really strong stuff, considering it is just PVA. So that's all built up um, and ready for primer. The only problem I've got is that I originally painted the tractor a long time ago. I got a bit excited. I wanted to do something in German grey. So I painted the tractor all in German grey. But um, I'm going to have to repaint it because the rocket that I want to do is the green top and silver bottom. Do it on the camo. And it needs... I don't want to do the rocket and camo. I want to do the silver, the green top and silver bottom, which, according to this, has to be, because that is, I might be corrected here, this is a field test in 1943 and 1944, which I think means I've got to have the uh, beigey coloured, whatever that is, Dunkelgelb tractor, I think. I or, do, don't. Or worry. possibly the Dunkelgelb and green camo one. So it's field testing, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, don't worry, just keep it great then. Yeah? Testing would have been at the test plants, so everything would have been done in grey. Only when they'd gone out in field actually using them would you find they'd have to start doing camos and camo camo patterns. Mm -hmm. I'd I, I do it all grey, mate. All ah, grey. okay. That's really good. Yeah. 
that's just saved me a little bit of hassle. So yeah, I've just got a couple of wheels left to um, assemble and paint up for that, and um, we're ready to rock and roll. Bit of, bit of UMP black primer and um, German grey over the whole shebang. But yeah, this has been a lovely kit. It's very small because it's obviously 170 seconds, so it's a bit fiddly. I'm not used to building small scale stuff anymore, but um, the detail is pretty good and everything fits. There's no fit issues at all that I've found. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice little kit and a lot more manageable than its 35th scale big brother as well, I think. Because that's huge. Very cool, mate. Well, yeah. Okay. Cool. Lovely. Come from. Dan. Um, caught me out then, what we're doing. Numbers, <laughs> <laughs> mate. Numbers. Uh, it's, yeah, we're picking numbers down. One to a thousand, mate. Uh, five. <laughs> <laughs> I picked five. Where's my number? We're showing what we've been working on, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to show you pick in a minute, mate, because you can see it better. I'm going to say I've not really done notes since last time, so you no can. <laughs> but no, I, I've like switched off them for a second. Well, yeah, don't worry, I do it, mate. <laughs> I, I'm normally root round in the cupboard when you lot stops talking. I'm like, what? No, <laughs> Cover for me, uh, Norman. Hi, Junk. Right, I continue worked on the Dragon BDRM. Not the going now. I like that. Ordered like present wheels for it because the kit wheels were a bit rotted and it, it is a bit smelly still. <laughs> you wouldn't oh. with this kit actually. Yeah, so, me. yeah, I it was it's not bad, it's an old kit, it's shown its age. Not too many fit issues. Uh I quite like it though. I like the shape. I like these little, you know, things, but the rub on the wheels are a bit rotted because it was an original kit. And this only took a couple hours. It was it's my son's. Don't bang. I like that as well. Bandai, well, tank sort of thing. So you give us that. Yeah, dark can you build that for us? Can you paint it now? <laughs> so I put that together. So that's what I've been working on this week. I've worked on something else, but I'll show you that a little bit later on. Ooh. It'll spoil it. And that's it. Nice. All right, that's all Norman Sam. Um oh, hold on. Try it. That works everywhere. I finished uh Peugeot, the yellow one. I still have to put the body on. I have to check the interior because the dashboard had moved. So I have to screw that down. It's behind me. I finished it. And then yesterday. Primed this thing early yesterday, and then last night painted it. It's I can't turn it because this is just set on. It's a Peugeot or the Toyota Celica Portuguese um, European oh. Rally team. Cool. Uh, these cars went down great. Some of them are a little small where they should be covered, but I can blow that in the put in the airbrush. Um, UMP white based. And I think it was zero paints, gloss white. Um, yeah. Started this this morning, five to nine. <laughs> About another six or seven to go on. That's me finished. So, <laughs> mind you, I haven't done anything in the last hour. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a nice little kit. It'll be good. It'll be finished midweek. Nice one. Because if everything else primed and painted, so I'm ready to go. That's me. Thanks, Sam. Uh, John. Uh, again, not much time on the bench again for me this week due to work, but I've got the tracks finished for the condensator. Wow. Two three nuclear artillery. <laughs> got a little bit more work done on the lower hull. All the running gears on that now, and then I'll put the barrel together, which sits about. There. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Brilliant. Uh, Brilliant. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. Round about there. So, not a particularly small vehicle. And yet, as, as I said, yes, it is one, 135th scale. Um, but other than that, the other thing I've been working on this week is a bit too big and heavy to get up to the cave. That's a new uh, aquarium. 
Oh, nice. Oh, nip and fetch it, John. I'd love to see it. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> What's the worst that's going to happen? <laughs> I could possibly I could even pick it up. It probably, I think it probably weighs about 65 kilos. How many litres is it? Uh, 57. Yeah, it probably weighs about 60 kilos. Under the arm, up you go. I was say, a, a man of your calibre, John, you should be able to just throw it on the shoulder. You have to ever take a knee off way up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, John. Uh, Tim? I haven't really been doing anything this week. I had another chaotic week. I'd st- I'd stuck a few little more pieces onto this, which you can't really tell, which is the FAMO trailer. Other than that, I- I've been, uh, again, a very um, low productive week. Sorry. We need to get you an ear more. That's what we need to do. Yeah, I, I was going to get in here this week, and then... Um, Craziness happened Thursday, Friday, uh, Thursdays, and I was like, I had no chance. Oh, yeah. <sighs> That's all right. Right. Uh, okay. Um, right. So, where do we start? So, the Persia, me and Sam were building together. Uh, Tammy is 307 Coupe, which is a lovely, lovely kit. Really is nice. Um, it's out of the box, but it's not. I've got Studio 27 decals. We've got different rims. We've got the um, 15 spoke Oz rims. Why oh, my camera white now tonight? Terribly. I think internet in general tonight's been a bit iffy. Oh, that's um, so yeah, 15 spoke rims on there. We've got some fabric belt and aftermarket decals. The paint was my own mix of Tamiya TS. I've got 31 and 14 mixed together to make the expert orange. And it's come out well. This is a cheaper 2K of use. And it's come out absolutely stunning. Really is absolutely brilliant. For 20 quid for a litre, can't beat that stuff. Really nice. It's a great kit. It's the second one I built now. And I love these kits. I've seen one of the road cars there, and the road car's terrible. It's an <laughs> ugly looking, horrible thing. But this one, oh, <laughs> yeah, this wide arch rally car is just stunning. It really is a beautiful car, and it's such a nice scheme as well. It's really cool. So, me and Sam built those together. Um, I wanted to do my uh, RS500 for my touring car build. So, this is my uh, Lavat schemed. Uh, Tamiya kits. This is the oh, Trampier one. The terrible scheme looks awful. Yeah. And I've gone with the SK decals for this to make Tim Harvey's RS500. It's sprayed in the Labatt color from Zero, which went okay. Hayes in a couple of places it always bloody really does, um, but it's gone not too bad. Other than that, that's ready for 2K in tomorrow, so that should be done. Uh, maybe tomorrow morning. The spoiler is there as well, but it's left off now for spraying. So nice to get another iconic scheme. Uh, done and again the SKD cars went down absolutely brilliant really nice and this thing should look nice once it's 2k it should really show it well um, the other thing we're working on as well which I have a bit of a nightmare on um, is the bike I was building the um, Yamaha YZR uh, M1 the 09 version the Munster bike uh, the Tech 3 one and got it all decal spent literally 10 hours of the day decaling it got a 2k and the 2k went on well we can get it to shine anywhere you know on the light no doesn't want to show there you go it's nice d2k the only thing is i think i rushed what i was doing a bit because i decaled it one afternoon and then 2k it the morning after and the 2k decided to eat some of the decals so it's had all the yellow there you probably won't see it but then it'll show if i can get it to there you go see where it's all crazed oh, yeah yeah so the, the 2k itself below is lovely but where the decals are, it's eating them. So, luckily in my kit, for some unknown reason, i got two sets of decals. Um, so, I've got three of these kits, all different ones. I thought I'll pinch one, sacrifice a kit. But luckily, uh, Hobby Co. I've still got um, some of these parts in stock. So, I've got the whole new sprue and a couple of the metallic album emblems for like 15 quid posted. Result. So, and basically, the only parts I'm going to keep are... Um, the front wheel arch, um, which is yellow, which is perfect, not a problem at all. Uh, the seat mount at the back, again, it's absolutely spot on, really nice finish on that. And the um, the rear section of the fair, which is okay as well. Everything else I'm going to completely redo. So all the new parts are glued together. I'm just trying to get the interest, trying to get them um, redone again because it's a bit soul destroyed. It did eat a little bit of the front bearings white decal but you can barely see it and what i'll probably do is get down another go over with some more 2k but it was soul destroying to spend 10 hours 
and then the next morning to have eat it. I think it's my fault, but it's only really reacted with the yellow decals, which is a bit weird. And it sprayed with the Meeper, the stuff I use all the time, but I've sprayed like 20 odd cars and never had a problem. Um, so I think it's just me not letting the decals set enough. So I think Scott was asking the other week about how long you can leave stuff for. So yeah, definitely follow my rule of thumb and leave decals for a couple of days. For yeah, the like longer the better, isn't it? Yeah. So they, they look dry, but you know, you don't have to hold them moisture, do you? No. That's probably what it was, to be honest. Be anything carry with them. Look at the Munster logo. Come on, focus. Yeah, there's like three or four layers of decals on that, isn't there? Yeah, there's all sorts on that. I think it, it, it's wrinkled the carrier film worse than anything else. Strange. So I think it's just got under there. So yeah, maybe it's just a case of me rushing. It was my own fault. That's just one of those. So I'm going to need to resand everything, reprime. I want to go do this time. This was the worst offender. I haven't got it anymore because I stripped it. It was a massive yellow decal on there, and that was just gone. And that's what I was like, oh, that's it, I'm screwed. But it didn't look right anyway, so what I'm going to do is a very simple shape. I'm going to mask it and spray it the yellow um, and then paint it because it would be easier. So, yes, I shall uh, get back to that and hopefully finish the bike. But I nearly said, sorry, sell the bikes. I've had enough. And I'm sticking to cars. Because it doesn't seem to get any bother with the cars, really. Um, and that's it. Long-winded waffle, I mean. It's all right. There yeah, well, as Hannah said, it was good customer service. We had them the next day. It's pretty good. good. He, he nearly had the decals, and then they just weren't in stock. I was going to get another set of decals and redo everything again because I had to re uh, didn't had to nick a couple of decals up in the sheet. I'm all right to redo. And there we are. Right, Dan, are you ready, mate? Yeah. Right, I'll put the camera on you and present you. I was born ready. Excellent, mate. Well, my MacBook and my internet connection is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, hang on. Let's just mash button. Oh, hang on. Wow, this is going to be. Uh, this might be quite quick tonight, actually. Why well, I'm using Chrome tonight and not Safari. Best idea. Doesn't it doesn't seem to like Chrome. Uh, Hangouts doesn't seem to like uh, Safari. I'm gonna say I, I found last update Safari started working better than Chrome, and now it's the other way around. Yeah, doesn't take long for it to swap around back around. Google's just better than Apple, isn't it? Well, it's not. No. <laughs> my, my Mac doesn't restart a program every time I fire it up. Really annoyingly, that you have to sit there messing around with. Yeah. Yeah. You've got no answer for that one, have you? <laughs> <laughs> you're not paying attention. It does do an update. Couldn't even read the chat time. with me tonight. Couldn't even help me out because he's messing around with his PC. <laughs> it wasn't it? Wasn't with PC? Oh, oh, oh. oh so it was. Yeah, sorry, it was. Yeah. Ah, see. Um, uh, I'm, I can't. I'm not even going to attempt to read the name. The um, uh, Russian Eastern European uh, gent or lady. Could you uh, stick to English in the chat, please? Well, I can't see that. Thank you. And Nick, Chap, Mike, and yeah. Hasn't popped up for me yet. Okay. Uh, underneath, uh, Phil and above, Tony asking about Dan's Tash. Not there on my screen. Not there on my screen either. Have you got live chat or top chat selected? Yeah. Top chat. Ah, oh. live chat. Ah, yes, there we go. There you go. Need to remember to do that. They haven't even really changed that recently because I've never seen that before. No, I only noticed it a few weeks ago. Mm. But yeah, that, that could explain. You remember when we had all that stuff where we were missing numbers and stuff? Could be. It could be that. Yeah. I always have it on live chat now. There we go. Right, over to Dan. He's going to look at all the work on the Facebook page of the forum. Now, I don't know if you guys have read our chat. Yes, I think it's a good idea. If you haven't, go over and have a look because I actually need to sort this out before this. So give me two secs, Dan. I was going to say I've not read it, but I'll just... Well, I'll read it out. Um, right, so two people have commented. Right, well, I'll just we'll do it live now. So we were talking the other day. Let me put my camera back on me. Oh, um, yeah. We were chatting away the other day, and we thought, you know what? Wouldn't it be nice if instead of us lot picking the winners in Dan's section, that every now and then we let the viewers do it? So yeah. we can try it tonight. Yeah, <laughs> could be chaos, but Tim, you're muted. Absolutely. Tim, to can, I, can I suggest one thing? Yes. We make it a short list, so we we 
make it three to pick for them to pick from. Um, otherwise, we've got to then sit there and count every yeah. single. Oh, I don't know. That didn't sit, shouldn't take us too long. Uh, um, little bird, just I thought. Well, <laughs> should we just try it this one? No, let's give it a go. I was, I was thinking maybe short this. Uh, I know what you mean. Yeah, we've got 161 watching, so we're going to go <sighs> if they all vote. That's it. But so what we're going to do? We'll try it tonight. We'll do it live because I was meant to discuss this before and I forgot. If I'm honest, so um, sorry. We'll do it right. So what we're going to do tonight, rather than us lot picking the winner of this bit now. You lot are going to do that are watching. So, after Dan's been through everything, and we'll have a quick recap, um, or while we do it, we'll do a quick recap, um, we'll start a five-minute timer. And in that five minutes, you get one vote of what you think is your most favourite build of the week. Obviously, you can't vote for yourself, so don't do that, and don't be getting family members to vote for you, and blah, blah, blah. Let's try and keep it fair. Uh, no, we're not doing numbers, Andreas. It's going to take too long, buddy. Um, so all you're going to do is when we've gone through it all and had a look, uh, we'll have a quick recap and then we'll start a five minute timer and you just do one vote of what your favorite kit is that week. After five minutes, we'll stop it and we'll count up who got the most votes and that will be the winning kit. And if there's a draw, then we'll choose it between us. We'll do it that way. Awesome. We're doing this live. We've never done it before. So we'll see how it works. It might go mentally wrong. <laughs> It's not the end of the world. Um, so yeah, pay attention, peeps. Uh, you're, all so picking sure. the, you're all picking the winners this week, and you can do our job for once. <laughs> um, right, so over to Dan. Yay! So Dan, go through your normal bit. Do you? Yeah, I sure. Yeah. Dan. Hello. What? Hey. Do, do, do your normal bit, and then do yeah. your recap, and then when we start the numbers, do another recap and go through it again. Yes. All right, so we've done like two. We just go scroll through so everyone can be... Uh, <laughs> probably David, more than likely. I love the confidence. I know. Well, it's it's more, than likely, chaos. Uh, more than likely go tits up, yeah. And uh, you can vote on anything, which includes any of us as well. And that's because... Yeah. Should we include us or not? Uh, what about a good idea is to go on the, the forum? Well, you can't be on the forum, but you can on Facebook. And the number of likes that the one bit gets... Mm. That's no, that's not going to work because the forum's left out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the, yeah. Forgot about the forum. Yeah. We'll just do what we're going to do. We'll do the voting bit in a bit. So stay tuned, have a look, and wait until we start the timer, and then you can all have your vote for what you think. I think if we're included and we get the most votes, we have to donate something. <laughs> oh, I want the goodie bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, everyone's included. We'll do it that way. Right, Dan, go on, mate. Off you go. Good luck. You're going to need it. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. We'll start on the forum as always. Um, we need more posts on the forum as well, people. Yes, it's very including, live, including live members, John. <clears throat> it's very easy to do. Yes, uh, but we'll kick off uh, tonight on the forum with two kids no sleep, Scott or Hair Scott. Oh, hang on, that don't work because I ain't got nine. Nope, move along. But he's like, is is the new internet the stapo? And this is his Airfix Sterling one seventy second. Uh, and it's AK Air Series on the top side. The little model air black on the bottom side. It's almost done. Thank God. Finishing touches with canopy glass and bits and bobs. Uh, Owen loves the new stuff. Matt has put into the forum. Uh, crash landed me bomber into a mountain on the left side of the screen. Ah, the humanity. No, it's stationary now. Excellent. But it was moving and now it's stationary. Good idea, not not for the show. Sorry. Uh, this is F27 next. I like this one as well. Uh, and it says, here's one that's been sitting on his shelf for Doom for a few months. Uh, I'm sure he's all got models like this. Uh, one where everything could go wrong, has gone wrong, and has made every mistake in the book, and has almost ended up in the bin more than once. But this uh, one is a bit sentimental, as it was one of... These that made his first overseas trip way back when. It's a Douglas DC-8-52, flown by Air New Zealand in the 70s. Uh, it's the Minicraft 1, 144, DC-8-71 kit converted to a 50 standard uh, with Contrail JT-3D engines and vintage flyer decals. Uh, the main paints are Tamir Rattle Can TS26 Pure White and TS83. 
Uh, he's forgotten what paint to use on the engines, uh, but it would be one of the extreme metallics. And if we was to do it again, uh, but he's only re recently discovered them. Uh, the anti dazzle panel is MRP Super Matte Black. Uh, apparently, it's far from perfect, but it's finished. Thank God. That's I right. quite like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, he's, he's, he, I like the, the plans he's doing. They're really nice. Really nice. nice. I don't know. There's just something about them that look good. Yeah, they do look good. I am tempted. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, <laughs> I would, yeah, I've been every time I see one. What make was that kit? Uh, that one is a mini craft. Mini craft. Okay. Uh, this is Nova Russ next, Mr. James Skiffins. He says this week's sausage is continued the madness, madness with scratch building a parachute. Well, why not? Over to Graham. Uh, yes, if you want to see the video on just how he built that parachute, you can find it now on his YouTube channel. If you look for Model Officer on YouTube, you'll find the latest video, which I believe is part 12, possibly 13 of his build series on the full diorama. But how he made that parachute is very, very clever. There you go. Cool. It does look good, though, I've got to say. It's really good. It does, yeah. It looks scary. Especially when it looks like a jellyfish like that one. Yeah. And the next one is One Mac, Mr. Alan McNeish. Oh, look this at that. This is uh, M&S Rebox of Revels, 172nd Lancaster. Uh, whatever it is, it's a Lancaster. Mark 1 and 2, is it? 3. Mark 1 and 3. Why? You'd, I don't know. It's just a Lancaster. It's nice work, that out. Uh, his decals are on, uh, and the UMP dark dirt wash applied to the camo areas. Uh, the black surfaces may be a bit more difficult, but I'm sure a custom mix will suffice. Uh, it needs to dull down the roundels and weather the whole aircraft with oils, especially the exhaust stains. It's slow growing, and thanks for looking. Very nice. Wow. Well, that is cool. I like it. Very nice. Looks nicely. I like making models, Mr. Ooh. Carl. Uh, this is AMT Anakin's pod racer. Uh, the model is now posed how he wants it. So just needs to get it all glued and matte coated, and we are done. Thank you. All. I like his collage pictures. Nice. Range is lovely. Eight foot Iceman next. Hey. Jermaine. Nearly swore. <laughs> uh, and this is his 112th to me. Uh, Honda NSR 500, uh, the bike, uh, this far has been painted with a combination of AK Extreme Metal, Alclad and Tamiya Acrylics. Uh, his primers used are UMP Grey and AK Black Base on the high shine finishes. Uh, it currently has the bike mocked up uh, on top of the advanced Marco Motto jig, uh, which is loving and decal work is scheduled for this weekend and hopes we'll like it. Thank you all. That jig looks really cool. It does. Have, I want to say I've seen a few on them now, and I think that one might be. Yeah, one of yeah. I say they're about hundred quid for what they are. They're great, but thin. I suspect you could make one quite cheaper. Yeah, it's it's very well machined. It's yeah. it's perfect for what it it needs to be. They are just expensive. Yeah, they are cool though. I reckon I could make some out of wood. <laughs> <laughs> Wooden crocodile tears. <laughs> oh, oh. Yes, looking at you, babe. Yeah. They're finished. We'll just nice. skip on by. Oh, it's a purple. No, it didn't. Why is it? Why did I say purple then? It's a. It's an orange thing. And this we're, is. We're going to say purple Persia. <laughs> no. We'll move along. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that. I don't know. I've lost it. Uh, and this is Paul's. This is his Tamiya 124 Peugeot 307 with Studio 27 expert decals and Oz 15 spoke rims. Oh, uh, um, find it in Ultimate Modeling Products White Primer and sprayed with a custom mix of Tamiya TS31 and TS14 orange and yellow uh, to match the color scheme. Uh, the decals went down grey and then it was cleared in his new Pro Range 2K Clear. Uh, all sprayed 
through the Apex airbrush, uh, gave it a light polish with some Novus and a wax with the excellent Tamir modeling wax. That's stunning, that man. He's added the required 15 spoke Oz rims that he had spur from a Subaru, pardon me. And it's a great kit from Tamir and a good looking rally car. Mm. Very nice. I like that. I like the shine, it's very shiny. Mm. Oh, Norman D next. Oh. Uh, and this is his Bandai 1144th uh, RTX 65 gun tank early type. Uh, and it's handed to him from his son to build for him. Only took him a few hours. It's a nice, simple build. Also a mojo booster. And it will go into UMP Primer along with his other projects. Hmm. Cool. Lad. And then back in its box. <laughs> 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 Oh, this is Black 73 Cat. He says he hadn't had much bench time this week, but made good progress on the TAC and V2 and tractor. Uh, PE attached last night using Gator Grip Thin Blend, uh, which worked really well. Just a few wheels and the main rocket to build now, all before priming. Who's that in background, Jay? Yeah, looks finished, Russell, mate. Russell Arty. <laughs> Oh dear, I was so want to say a joke. <laughs> uh, and this is Tim Plastic next. And he's slowly working on the Tamir 135th Famo trailer. I don't believe him. Looks same as it did last time. Sadly, that's it for the forum. Just two pages. Boo! People should feel shame. Boo! Oh, we'll slide into Face Aiken. And roll through. We'll kick off tonight with Banana Man, Mr. John Stone. Uh, he says, Greetings, slaves to the plastic. This week sees the completion of the Trump 135th Russian T90S. Apparently, it's not as good as Sharp is. Uh, he knows, but he's older than him. <laughs> not much, <lipstick. laughs> <laughs> 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 And finish with Vallejo and AK Real Colors. Uh, it's metal tracks and reflective stickers for the periscopes, and he hopes we we'll like it. Our model on, or it's the arena. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, John. Lovely. John. Okay. I like. Have a banana. <laughs> no, I think he's having too much potassium. True. This is Mr. Philip Ram's car next. Uh, and he's completed the Revell 172nd U-Boat U190. Uh, it's 3.8 feet long. Wow. Uh, he's painted it in life colour. Uh, Kriegsmarine set. Uh, only place it would fit is in the living room. Uh, had to move stuff. And he's waiting for the German group crew to turn up from eBay. Sounds oh, nice. I'm going to say a couple of nails in the wall. Gold. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I, yeah, I suspect he stopped nailing things to the wall. And Mr. Simon Cousins started this today. Wow. It's, uh, oh, that's oh, my Lord. It's going to be massive. He's, he's brave. Or his medication needs altering. <laughs> Wow. That's a huge hood. And Simon Cousins nearly finished this. What is it? Don't know. It'll take still a bit. It's it's a boat with wings. Boat with wings. Uh Mr. Raddy Meffenberger uh, is working on his stash and accessory collection. <laughs> Tenuous. Well, Oh. oh, that's nice. Uh, and this is, this is, uh, I, I do apologize in advance. This is Lassie Enfjord. Mm. Maybe. Oh May uh, and he's completed this little gem a few minutes ago. It's a 1 144th uh, FM2 Wildcat by Sweet. That's amazing, that. That's, that's awesome. awesome. Uh, it's a wonderful kit. He's painted it with Tamiya. It's weathered with oils and colour pencils. He's added an antenna from a brush bristle and antenna wire from fishing line. 
Uh, the base plate was done by uh, sawing up like a million pieces of wood and gluing them down. Wow. That is good. gorgeous. Yeah, that does look good. That doesn't look like 1144, does it? Say, if, if we were playing that Guess the Scale game while well, Tim started last year, that were, yeah. I'd, I was think, well, I'd look at that and go 172. I was going to say, I'd, yeah. I'd have said anything, any 172nd or 148, maybe. That's lovely. 172nd, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. Okay, it's a bit of work. But yeah, that's cool. That's good. Mm -hmm. This is Mr. Anthony Horman. Uh, and this is his Polar Lights Officer Kane resin kit. Uh, all held together with uh, good intentions at present. He's used a mix of Vallejo paints to get the base color on and an SMD uh, chip LED for torch and helmet. Still a long way to go on this kit. That'll look really good when it's done. Yeah, that's mm. going to be good. I have seen that kit and it is, for what it is, it's quite, yeah, pricey. Oh, come on. Oh, gee. Mr. Richard Lamb next. Now we're talking. Uh, and this week he shall be doing the finishing touches to his Wessex UH5 by Italia Area 148. Uh, he's private in UMP Black. He's painted it in Tamiya and Vallejo Acrylics. Uh, panel line washing UMP Light Dirt. Uh, it's supposed to represent an aircraft from H4 Squadron Cyprus, hence the Light Dirt Wash. Have a good show, guys. That is looking belting, mate. Yeah, that does look that does look proper. That really good. I love a Wessex, and that is just nice really nice, mate. I just like a chopper. <laughs> you like a chopper. Take that where you want. <laughs> uh, Mr. David Sergeant next. Uh, evening, ladies and gents. Uh, so he thinks he's borders enough with the Harrier for the last five weeks. Uh, so into a nice, good mojo, 135th Accurate Armour <laughs> Fox Resin build. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's got an RB uh, barrel. Uh, he's got to this stage in three hours of Primal Mr. Surface of 1500. Uh, it will be a standard NATO green uh, and black finish with his old battalion's call signs and markings. Very nice. Oh, my MacBook's turned into slow go. Nope, this one's a secret. No, there we go. Uh, this is Mr. Charles Stellini next. Uh, and this week is finished uh, the Airfix 148th Bolton Paul Defiant Mark 1. Primed in UMP grey primer and painted in Vallejo model air colours. Uh, sealed it with Humbrol gloss clits and applied decals and then another gloss coat and applied a UMP dark dirt wash. Uh, first time using a wash and is happy with it. Thanks again. Nice. Looking good. Looking good. Nice aircraft, that. Mm, it's not a Spitfire though. Ooh. Mr. Charles Stanhope next. And he's almost finished the seascape on the Trumpeter 1700th Kiev uh, after adding the tissue paper and dabbing it with thin Vallejo faded uh, PRU blue, RLM 66, RLM 76, and RLM 24. Then added a gloss coat. Once dried, added some more wave struts using a acrylic gloss gel. Uh, then added bits of acrylic gel mix with Vallejo flat white for the tips of the waves to be honest he thinks it was his first attempt but there is room for improvement that's good for me yeah effort great effort no that looks yeah see see it can change from second to second oh, yeah. i like it yeah i like yeah. it a lot uh this is mr michael benjamin mitchell next uh and he says what he asked today is uh, Longinus Battle Armor for the Battle Tech game. Uh, right now, he's only got half of them in a urban camouflage scheme. I need to finish uh, the last of the four units uh, painted in that scheme. The other four units, they'll probably paint 
in olive drab with some white stripes. Uh, they do have, they does have a Puma Battle Mech miniature. Uh, it'll be assembling and painting later too. Cool. Mm -hmm. See that stuff never floated my boat. That's more that Warhammer mm -hmm. battle type arrangement stuff. Mr. James Skiffins again, uh, and it's a little stained glass work from him this week, short and sweet. But to be fair, though, that looks belting that. It's amazing, yeah. yeah. Amazing work, that. It's a really lovely kit. That little, that win the window set that he got. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of the uh, name of the manufacturer now, but it's it's beautiful. It's like laser cut window frames, and the the glare. Oh, it's stunning! Brilliant. Was it um, reality in scale? No. It's, oh, God. Uh, me a second. One moment, Cola. I'll find out. <laughs> I do like right, that. As you will, I'll come back to you in a sec. I do like that. He's done amazing work on that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, same as this one's. Yeah, this one's a belter and all. Mr. Paul Chapland. Uh, and he's nearly done the Mercedes truck by Tellieri. Uh, right. UMP gloss black primer, then a base coat of zero fine silver before a final coat of zero candy bronze uh, and AK metal for the chassis. Nice. That is looking pretty damn nice. Belting colour, that. Yeah. There's no sir. He said he had quite a few issues with paint a fitting uh, that a sort of fit once it's all built up because of the size fit, but he's done a super job of it. I like this as well, but you can't fault the Martini scheme anyway. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Mr. Dan Edmonds, uh, this is Hasegawi, Lancia Delta HF Integrale 16 valve. Uh, and he's not had much time at the bench for this one, but getting there slowly but surely. Uh, and as you can see, the body is nearly finished. Uh, just need to put the windows in and add a few odds and ends. Uh, the interior is complete. Made the seat belts for the first time using two millimeter ribbon and the PE uh, that came with the kit. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, but pleased with the results. Uh, he's used UMP white and gloss black primers to me. PS26 out of the can. Various Vallejo colors and aqua gloss. Have a great show, guys, and a wonderful weekend, everybody. Oh, that looks really nice, Dan. Nice one. Yeah, that does look good, that. I like... I like this one also. Uh, Mr. Luke Carswell. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's finished this at last. It's a Ravel 148 scale Apache Longbow. Uh, it's an absolute pig of a kit, which has taken months of work. Uh, he's fairly happy with how she's turned out. He's primed in UMP black. The base colour is, to me... <coughs> oh, I nearly drowned. To me, XF67 NATO green, weathered heavily with UMP dark dirt, earth, white dirt, sand, and algae washers. Uh, homemade pastel pigments, various to me, a model color on the cockpit, all sprayed the UMP apex and happy modeling. Nice one, Luke. Excellent. Lovely, Luke. Well done. It's an ugly looking helicopter, but it's a beast. Yeah, it's a nice one, isn't it? That's one of them that can hide behind a tree 40 mile away and still kill you. Yeah. <laughs> that um, window set from James was some Yen models. Oh. Um, he's got a review on his YouTube channel. I've just found the thing there, and it actually doesn't look like there's any glass in with them. It's just the frames looking at it just very quickly. So I'm not sure how he's got that glass or how he's done it. So that's now got me curious. I think what he's done is melted individual gummy bears. For <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A spoon and a lighter with a gummy bear on. Oh, <laughs> anyway. Oh, Neil. We drifted away there. <laughs> uh, we'll drift back to Mr. Neil Fraser next. Uh, and he says, Hi, guys. This week's update on the scratch built B17F. Uh, and his initial thought was to work from the Bombay backwards uh, into the radio room. However, he's decided to go ahead and build the cockpit section first. Uh, as he already uh, had the blanks cut for the stiffeners, it were. Uh, although the Bombay area is not quite finished, uh, he felt the need to move on uh, with the build and come back to certain areas of details later on. Have a great weekend, everybody, and he hopes we like it. 
I do. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I tell you what, he's cracking on with it, isn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what I mean. Class, man. Rather you than me. I was just about to say the same thing, John. That just looks like a just a cult smash moment right there. Yeah. That's, that's definitely trying to get the hammer out. <laughs> this is Mr. Grant Ash next. Ooh. Uh, and this is to me a 124th Subaru Impreza WRC 2001. Uh, it was primed in UMP white primer, then painted with Canter TS uh, 50, sprayed through his Apex airbrush, uh, and it has been clear coated in Tamiya X22. Very cool. Yeah, nice. I like that. I like that as well. a lot. I like this one a lot as well. Oh, yeah. Mr. Oh, Papa. Oh, look at that, dude. Yeah, that's yeah, I've got a sneeze brewing them all. Sure. Uh, it says, Evening, gents. He's finished his entry to the group build earlier today. Uh, it's the Ayashima 24th 1983 KDR30 Skyline Super Silhouette. Uh, he's used UMP Primer, uh, Zero Paint Base Color, uh, and then finished with uh, uh, Omicron 2K Clear. Uh, the clear was flattened using 3000 wet and dry and then polished using Maguire's three-step polishing system. Uh, the interior is painted a combination of Ravel, Tamir and Vallejo paints. Photo etch seat belts were added as well. Uh, as plumbing to the various cylinders. I uh, had a mishap putting the windows in, managed to smudge some super glue on the clear plastic. Uh, this was fixed using 3000, grew it wet and dry. Then polished back to normal using the Novus plastic polishing system. Uh, luckily, this worked out and the clarity was restored. Uh, the chrome trim was done using Molotov chrome pens. Photo etched bonnet pins uh, were added to both front and back. The aerial was made from a cut down acupuncture needle. Uh, enjoyed uh, doing this build and he hopes you guys like the final result. <coughs> Most definitely. Absolutely. Like, I, don't normally, I don't normally like cars like that, but that one's really cool. Yeah, that one does look like that. Yeah. Very cool. I like it. Well, I'll see that on Monday. Do you know what it looks like? It looks like roll tarmac up. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It does, you know what I mean? We, you know, it needs all them spoilers to it on floor. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh, the when it came in at the pits. Nice hula hoops. Mm. <laughs> 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 Uh, this is Mr. Dan Cook next. Uh, this is his Airfix 148 P40 Warhawk. It's finished. Uh, UMP Black Primer. Uh, XF62 Olive Drab lightened with XF4 and darkened with XF1. Uh, is used uh, mask oil and a sponge for the OTT chipping. Uh, used aqua gloss. Costard. Aluminium metal color underneath the green and removed with a rubber. Way too many jokes. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of different Abtalung oils for dot filter and weathering. Was an absolute Pearl Harbor of a project to start, but persevered, and now it looks passable. We wish you had a ca the camera skills to do it justice. Uh, being given to a very excited 12-year-old Warhawk lover on Monday. Uh, UMP products are ace. Uh, but a new company called Hula Hoops make a very good red and green product. <laughs> yes, I prefer the brown version of the Hula Hoop. I find it much more... <laughs> oh, oh, way too many jokes. No, no, <laughs> no. No, I tell you what, seriously though, he's done well to get that finished because it was a right dog. Yeah. It, it wouldn't go together at all when he uh, when he first started it. He's, um, he's pulled that back from nothing. It's really nice. Good skills. Right. It does. It does need to practice his pictures, though. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Mine just says says me who can't take a picture for toffee. Uh, Mr. Ryan Cancino next. Oh, that's going to be cool. He's at it again. Oh, look at that. And he says here, once the step side was finished, he soon got to work on this. Uh, bought his Willie's pickup by AMT. 
the front end comes from a 37 Chevy Coupe along with a straight six motor as well. Uh, the doors have been opened and uh, the first attempt at a custom frame has been successful. Uh, he has plans to boost the motor and hinge everything, so this should be a handful. But he loves the challenge. Cheers, guys. Happy Friday. And as always, stay inspired. That'll be cool. I'm looking forward to seeing that come together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mr. Andres Scar. Oh, he's been busy again. Mm. I like his floor. Got some lovely work that boy. <laughs> Uh, he hasn't had much free time lately, but he has managed to put some paint uh, on this ICM Fox mat. It's a uh, black UMP primer uh, under a few layers of the appropriate ACAM paint. Uh, no pre or post shading, just uh, feath feathering in paint where it needs to go. Uh, and they only use one shade of colour. Very nice. He's getting good at this modelling, isn't he? He is. Yes. Not bad. Not bad. Come on, internet. Catch up. Oh, this is Mr. Brett from High Altitude Scale Modeling. What? Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, this is his Great Wall Hobby 148P61, ready for a heavy weathering job. Okay. Uh, he's UMP Dark Dirt, uh, and he's painted the bird the wrong color green. Needs to be more on the drab side of olive drab. It's a great kit apart from the decals uh the red walkway and the insignia broke apart but he's managed to get them together uh it doesn't look great but it will be finished and displayed until he builds another the correct color <laughs> well, nice, fantastic plucking planes they are aren't they mm. piece of an aircraft isn't it mm, definitely i like this next one this one's Ooh, nice. oh look at that that's sexy well, who's building that? I don't know. Mr. Paul Bertland. Bertland, yeah, Mr. Bertland. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, he says he's got the Tamir RS500 decals uh, using the SK decals Labat scheme, which went down great again. He highly recommends them. Have a search on Facebook for SK decals. Oh, yeah. Very nice. That's going to be sexy, 2K. I hope so. That's, that's going to look really nice. <laughs> oh, Shane, all right. Is that the Tim Harvey one? Yeah. Paul. Oh. It is indeed. I like. Very nice. Oh. Uh, Mr. John Sharp. Uh, he says he's trundling along slower with the Trumpeters 2A3. Uh, or is it Compensator? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, in 135th. Uh, and yes, he did say 135th. And that's just the barrel for the gun. <laughs> That's a lot of bank assembly to go behind that yet. <laughs> Haven't I fit the top of the fish tank? What do you? I won't fit inside the fish tank. <laughs> Did my ears deceive me then, or was that static? I think I was a bit static. <laughs> but yeah, that's the last one for face ache tonight. So I'm really glad I'm not picking. Just saying. Right, so... <laughs> We can probably get through the recap, can't we? Well, in our five minutes, quite easy. Oh, yeah, dead easy. You, yeah. you don't need to go through it twice. Right. Yeah. So, I'll leave the camera on, Dan. So, what we're going to do, we're going to let you guys and girls in the chat vote for your favourite build. So, you only get one vote, and you get five minutes to pick. You'll see Norman with a timer up on the screen in a minute, and you'll see Gray and Post start your um, uh, nominations now, we'll go with. So what we'll do, when we start the timer, uh, Dan, I'll go through and have a recap of the builds. You don't need to pick straight away. If you want to wait a minute, we'll go through them all. So you can do it that way. But just pick your favourite build of the night. So if you know the kit or the modeler's name, do it that way. Make it easier. Um, one, one vote only. And you get five minutes. After that, up, we'll count them all up. And that will be the winner of tonight's goodie bag. It's as simple as that. Right, <laughs> Graham and Norman, are you ready? Are you going to go through the review first? Just a good night. We're going to start this and then go through it. Right, okay then. Twice. Okay. Are you ready? Three, two, one, start. 
There you go. Number right, so now. Go on, Dan. Off you go, bud. Let's have a recap. Um, we'll start again with two kids no sleep with his FX Sterling in one seventy second. Uh, this is F twenty sec F twenty seven packs with his Douglas uh, DC airplane. I quite like that one though. Uh, Novarus James Skiffin with his parachute. Oh. I like that one. Uh, one Mac Mr. Alan McNeish with his Lancaster. I like that one. <laughs> uh, making models with his pod racer. Uh, eight foot Iceman Jamie with his uh, one twelfth Honda NS NSR five hundred. Excellent. I like the eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Although I will say, if we are being included, that's mine, and that should win. Yeah, there you go. There's Dan's figure. It's it's Joker, and he looks belting in person. It's a we'll, just, we'll just quickly go. go Hang on, get on the van. We've skipped your post. Where? We haven't skipped any okay. post. If it's there, we've seen it. If not, it ain't there. So no, we haven't I'm skipped any post. There's no posts. That should win right there. That thing. Yeah. You know what? I mean, nah. Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> Uh, and then we have his little uh, uh, gun type uh -oh. Bandai uh -oh. thing. Uh, you froze at the minute, Dan. Uh oh. Uh oh. Top of page, last post. On the forum. Hey, we'll soon check. Because I'm getting there. Uh, that's uh, Graham's. Tack and V2 thing and his tractor tin plastic, and that is on the form. Let me just. Well, if you just stuck it on now, then it's going to get missed. I want to say. No. No, nothing there. Try page one. Nope. 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 <clears throat> right, onto Facebook. <laughs> no facebook more than an hour ago well we're just building all through facebook it's not there if it's not there it's not there dude uh mr john stone got a refresh down just in case i will give it a little little dabble of refresh see what happens right you got two and a half minutes or halfway through so now dan's gonna find a post again and now it's disappeared yeah <laughs> it shouldn't be that far away i should be able to just find it if facebook playing the game yeah, if you're posting late, guys, you've got to tell us because obviously Dan's got a page. You need to refresh for it to appear. Yes. There we go. Let's get back to the top. We've got pretty much got an outright winner at the moment. Yeah, we have. Yeah, uh, Mr. John Stone on Facebook with his T90S. Mr. Philip Ramscar with his massive U-boat in 172nd. If you guys want to put your votes in that chat as well, go for it. Um, a boat for Mr. Simon Cousins and a plane of some description mr no uh mr lassie uh enfjord enfjord i apologize for butchering your name but i like this uh one one for wildcat i'll just point that out it's very tiny uh mr anthony horman with his uh office cane from polar lights his little resin kit mr rich lamp with his west six uh5 mr david Sargent with his uh accurate armor fox Mr. Charles Stellini with his uh, Bolton Paul Defiant. Uh, Mr. Charles Stanhope with his 1700th Kia Seascape. Uh, Mr. Michael Benjamin Mitchell with his uh, Diddy Army. <laughs> Mr. James Skiffins with his uh, stained glass. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> stained glass. <laughs> stained glass. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Paul Shapland with his uh, Mercedes truck. I like that. He's going to move on. <laughs> uh, Mr. Dan Edmonds with his Lancia Delta Integrale. Luke Carswell with his Apache Longbow. Mr. Neil Wait. Fraser with his Scratch Built B17F. Mr. Grant Ash with his Subaru. Mr. Bap Athwell with his uh, uh, Skyline Super Silhouette. Mr. Dan Cook with the Warhawk. Mr. Ryan Cancino with his Fortis Willis. That sounds wrong. Mr. Andreas Scar with his fox bat and a dinosaur running after his car. Mr. Brett Marquard with his, uh, it's a Great Wall Hobby P61. Nine seconds. Uh, Mr. Paul Bertland with his Sierra and Graham. with his big yeah. tacky thing. 
Well done. Nice one, Dan. And Nicotin. And stop nominating. There we go. Well. Right, hang on. Scale model vamp. Wait, you guys still do the admin for allowing post. No, there's no post approval on ISM. Right, mate. I see what you've done. You've posted it on the Facebook group. You haven't posted it in Dan's thread, mate. Yeah, it's got to be in the thread. We can't search the entire Facebook page, buddy. Oh, we'll be there a week. We'll be there I'm a week. looking at your post now, mate. It's just on the main Facebook feed, mate. It's got to be in the in Dan's thread. Yep. Big big sign says live at the bench. bench. Week. Yeah. Fall in there, mate. Sorry, mate. You've uh, you're not going to get picked up there. Otherwise, would would be well. The show will be longer than the week. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, right. Anyway, we we'll stop voting now, peeps. Yeah. So we're yeah. not right winner anyway. So, so, yeah. yeah. So in third place, we've got the short Sterling. Excellent. In mm -hmm. second place was Luke's Heli. Excellent. Um, well, I'm pretty much all out, all out winner with uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36 votes is the Wildcat. We had a very good range of uh, different votes in there. Yeah, there was great, pretty nice to see, actually, guys. Very nice. I got a vote as well. Oh, bless you. Yeah. Um, so there you go. Lasser. I'm going to go with Lasser is his name. Yep. Uh, Lasser, if you can get your details to me either on Facebook, Paul Bretland, or Paul on the forum. Uh, I'm an admin and owner of the group, so if you look for me in the admin, you'll find me. Look for Paul. And uh, send me your name and address. I'll get you goodie back in the post. Well done, mate. That thing is beautiful. Really, really I'd really nice. like yeah. to see some more pics of that on the Facebook page. So if you're watching, um, post some more pics for us to have a look. Because I tell you what, if that wasn't on that base, I wouldn't be able to guess the scale of that. No, no, I want the base gives its scale away to me, I think. Yeah, it's just the grain of the wood around the outside, isn't it? It's stunning, absolutely stunning. So, well done, well done, Lassa. Um, get your name and address to me, and I will sort you out. Goodie bag, well done, nice Yay. one, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone in the um audience that voted, let me know what you think of that a little bit. We'll do that like every other week. We could do, couldn't we? Or what we could do once a month, and then them guys could do it, or they could do it every week. I quite, I quite like that. Yeah, I quite like it. I, was <laughs> I thought that was actually going to be quite difficult. Lucky enough, there was one main yes. contender that took that time. Um, but it's not actually too difficult to keep an eye on. Yeah. Quite good. It's quite slow, isn't it? It's You can go back up and... Uh, yeah, you can, you just got to keep an eye on it when it does its jumping. Yeah, but other than that, yeah, it's not bad. So, yeah, I, mean, we'll, 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 I don't know. We might do that every week. We might let yeah, people pick every week. Thing. And not a bad thing. We'll see. But our audience participation is always good. Yeah, so, yeah. Well done, Dan. Well done, everyone that took part. Oh, well done to Lassa as well. well done, yeah, man. that rebelting build that. Yeah, it was yeah, yeah. absolutely beautiful. Right. Um, hang on, hang on. Let's just get back to this scale model vamp fella. Either he's got some belting eyes or he's watching something completely different. Yeah, because I can see he's a white screen. I was going to say, not only that, it's on a channel that I can't see produces that kind of material at this Hour of the impact to any hour of the day depends what float is, but who's you meant to slice? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I don't know. I don't know what that's about. No, do you mean you probably using an airbrush, mate? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you get paint through a, a microscope. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. <coughs> and there we are. Right. Um, what time is it? My God, we're flying through this tonight. Uh, so we've still got Tim's latest kits. We've got what we've been buying. It'll be interesting tonight. Cause I can't remember what I bought the last three weeks. Um, and a giveaway to do. So, yeah, we'll be gone in a bit. So we can have a sit and have a little chat for a bit. Or we'll get through the show and sit there and model for a bit. I think it's probably best to do, isn't it? Yeah. Possibly, yes. Mm, some modeling. There we go. Right, hypodermic. Yeah, there you go, John. You, you get smack up and go <laughs> back. Um, oh, dear. Oh, dear. What the hell's going on? Anyway. Um, right, so there we go. Um, you ready for your bit in a bit, Tim? Can be, yes. Have we got many slides? Yeah, we've got quite a good, good amount there. Cool. Excellent. Well, we'll do Tim's bit in a second, and then we'll do that giveaway, and then we'll have a look now what we've been buying if you want. I got a feeling it's going to be short and sweet because it's been quite a while. I've not bought that much in the past few weeks, and I kind of forgot. So um, yeah, so, over to Graham. Quick on the spot, Graham. There we go. Really? I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Uh, right. Uh, so, <coughs> um, I can't remember. Nah. If I, 
I've shown this or not. Um, I bought this off of Paul. Turn my light off, and you should be able to see it better. Um, I did have the Italeri 148 kit, um, but I had my eye on this, and when Paul decided that he wasn't doing aircraft anymore, he hung on to this, and I had my eye on it, and as soon as he said he was selling it, I had it. So you've shown us this already. I think I probably but have. But you've now shown us this. The reason that I wanted to show it again and to make sure that I've definitely shown it is because I also got uh, well, I didn't get it. Dan bought it for me. Dan Cook got oh, it. Got this oh, that's fantastic. That's nice. Manual. Now, these are usually like 20, 25 quid. Um, the works at the minute have got a random selection of them for six pounds each. Um, and it's just packed full of images. And that's the work, six pounds, yeah? Yeah. A lot of them. Oh, we got a load of them. them, yeah. All sorts of stuff at the minute. All I mean, it's just <clears throat> the, the pictures inside are just fantastic. Yeah, that's well needed. So, yeah, that was um, a nice little purchase. Dan spotted that for me and picked it up. Thank you very much. Um, and I also got, after a bit of a discussion in the hangout the other night, or oh, maybe it was a couple of weeks ago now, um, an F pump set. Now, I didn't hadn't realize this, but these are out of production. Um, and then somebody made a load of them, apparently. And I looked on eBay, found one place that was selling them, and they said, This is the last one. And there was about 10 left. Once they're gone, that's it. So I grabbed the pair um, for about 10 quid, something like that, with the bases and all the rest of it. So I'm looking forward to giving clamps. those. Say again? They are good clamps, but they do, yeah. they do go slack after a bit. Yeah, they, yeah. Slip, they slip off your nipples. Ooh, nice. They might be tired of the band at some point. Uh, so, yes, I got a set of clamps. And then for Paul's um, muscle car build, uh, this was going cheap on Amazon Prime. Um, <laughs> and I do love a charger. Um, I believe you've got one in the workshop at the minute, Tim, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's a slightly later year than that. It's a 69, but, yep, pretty much spang yeah. on the same car. Just, I love them. I love the... the, the Flip around grill for the lights and all the rest of it. Just, yeah, gorgeous looking car. And it was like cheap as chips. So that's going to be my um, entry for Paul's <laughs> muscle car build. And um, the lovely. The September as well, by the way. To get me? Starts on the 1st of September. Yes. yes. Two months. Two months. So the cheapest chips to buy, that one was about 16 quid off Amazon. Yeah, it was, yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. picking what cheaper you shop around. Yes, and then that very lovely but slightly bonkers Irishman, Northern Irishman, should I say, sitting over there, mm. um, sent me this as well. Um, caught me unawares. Graham, do you like the uh, the Venga bus or what you, whatever it's called? Venga bus. <laughs> um, and I just, without even thinking, I was concentrating on someone. Yeah, yeah. He went, right, I'll send you one. So, um, yes, this is lovely. Um, my little boy loves VWs, and as soon as he saw it, Will you paint it blue for me, Daddy? <laughs> so, oh, are you going to do Jägermeister, Michael? Do you know what? I really like the Jägermeister scheme, so I'm going to have to try and convince him because I really like that as it is. But he saw that and he wants it blue. Oh, that's boring. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like but a good bus. I, I really like that one. So what I might do to, to, to sort of put it, uh, placate him, I might offer to do him this one as a van in the Jägermeister scheme and then I'll get him another one of the bus one with the windows in the back of the camper version. And do that one blue for him, but yeah, oh, this is lovely. Thanks, Sam. He's so well, happy. Him, He's so happy. Um, it's, it's blooming heavy. I'd, I'd do that Jagermeister to be honest, because that's a very it, cool. Looking it thing. is. It's a lovely looking thing. Mm. I think so we should have a vote on it. Think I mean? I think all the the, the crew should have a vote. What you which one? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and then I uh, was out at uh, RF Coningsby to the Battle of Britain Memorial fight of the day again with Dan. And on the way back, we called well, in at Newark because they've got a lovely model shop in Newark. So I just picked up a few extra Tamiya's and a bottle of uh, Citadel's Nuln Oil. Yeah. Because um, I've got the Agrax shade and a couple of others, but I wanted that one. And then I got the Wessex off Paul when he decided he was giving up aircraft. And then when he decided he was giving up armour as well, <laughs> he decided he was going to sell this loss. So... I bought a massive selection of various weathering effects, pigments, shipping fluids, washes, uh, washes, pigment fixer, mig thinner, 
um, acrylic resin. Um, yeah, nature effects, streaking effects. They're just there's loads, there's loads of stuff. Slimy grime, track roast. Uh, yeah. So yeah, huge great selection of things to stock up my weathering products with. Very nice. Yeah, we're happy with that lot. And that is me. Excellent. Well done, Graham. Hello, mate. Yeah. That's a good haul. It is. Dan? No. Robin? Right, I'll just switch cameras. Uh, do, do, do. I mean, we're not going to see your pretty face. <laughs> no, no. Go for that. Right. As you can see, it's plainly obvious. I've got myself a new cutting mat. <laughs> 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 That's the first thing. You're sitting there all afternoon, aren't you? This is not the old one got any use. Uh, um, uh, yeah, then. <laughs> and you well, cut mat, you see, you know. Yeah, then, I went out and got some super glues. I like these because they're, they're super weak. They're very liquidy, if I should say, thin. And they're great for sticking stuff. Then I got extra Tamiya bottles. And you have a shot moment, the order tonight. Thinners. Uh, some highly recommended Tester's Dull Coat. Lovely stuff. Along with the recommended thinners to use, which is not the leveling thinners, but the normal thinners. That's the one. And then mm, the great snipper debate. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for a new set of snippers, as I said last week, and I got these ones. They're from a company called Engineer. Uh, 15 quid and they are cracking absolutely gorgeous quality really really nice when i use these then i got these expensive ones that come through the post which are uh, <laughs> gray ones are oh, they good though they are really good i must yeah. admit they are very nice but i have a few little problems with them uh one is i tend to cut like that and i keep nipping my skin Oh no! That bit there, because it's got a little adjuster, which is just there. Uh, they are, actually, I mean, you can't even feel these cutting through the plastic. But another little problem: they are ultra thin, and I think if I dropped them, I would actually break them. They really are super sharp. But another little fault is they've got a, a little ridge in there. What there? Ah, right. So when you cut plastic and a little bit of plastic drops in there, you're like, oh, why are they not working? It's because they get jammed in this little section in you and you can't close them. But I must admit, they are ultra sharp. They do cut through. But what I also found was if you cut the sprue part from it, you can actually gouge into the plastic and put a big gouge in it. So they recommend that you cut away, then trim off a little bit. I recommend you do that also because... You can actually take a canny bit of gouge out of that chart. But, as I say, expensive. Uh, are worth it? Debatable. Uh, I'd like to test them out for a few more months. With the cut, 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 Oh, yeah. Don't cut off anything, mate. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely. Oh, I'm going to think about you. Was it me, was it? Uh, it's gone. Yeah. Right. It's gone. It's gone. Then... I've I got rid of all my old paints and all that and I've decided to buy a new set. So I've been buying I've gone for the lacquer range of the hat hataka paints. I don't know if you can see that one. And I actually got two sets for 20 quid because I was only one to bid on them. Which I was rather pleased about. Good. Nice. Uh, Can you on my browser? I'm on the uh, correct one. Hmm. Oh, it's going a bit everywhere, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But I must point out, you'll recognise I've got a new cutting mat there. Yeah. <laughs> Kit White. I got myself that. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. And I got that for a very, very good price. I've got the other two in between, but like I say, I've been building them, so that's that. There's some really good extras for that if you, if you want to buy some. Oh, no, no, no. Hmm. Then I got myself that little that's thing something. there. Nice. Oh, thank you. That. I've been what well ever since I saw on Tim's like thing. He's, it actually comes with either rubber tracks or a clicking link. Oh, nice! Uh, and of course, I only started it the other day. 
Very cool. That's nice. Huh? That's really nice. It's basically the size of a 35th scale tank. It's actually just held together. There's not much of it glued. Uh, fit is absolutely exception. Same with the wheels and all that. They're just... A roller skate from 1973. Yeah. Mate, mm -hmm. this thing is tiny. There's actually a picture of it stuck That's on the back crazy. of a Sherman. <laughs> he actually lifted it on the back of a Sherman. It only weighed a couple of tons of maximum. But it is a cracking kit. Uh, Engineering-wise, lovely. Ran about 50 quid more. Is it any interior at all? None at all, mate. Absolutely none. Uh, very few parts, I must admit. Uh, I think the part count's only in the 60s or something, 60s and 70s. If you add the tracks, then it brings up to a couple hundred. Because there's a lot of tracks. And then, uh, I've got a new cut map. <laughs> then, I decided, well, why not? I'll get myself one of them as well. That was oh, a good oh, match. Oh. Right. A good match. So, I thought I'd get one of them because the Japanese actually use them too. So, Very I cool. thought... They've now dropped down in price, and I thought, well, you know, I get, you know, well, why not? So I thought, but, and I got myself a nice range of these UMP sand and things for me. Oh, now. I haven't noticed those. Yeah, these are the back, you see, but what yeah, I'm yeah. talking about is, is the personal know that you get. Yeah. Which, you know, yeah. and about the streets. That's the specials, you know. Yeah, our, uh, our brand new compliment slips. Yes, beautiful. Like I said, excellently priced you can buy them from you 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 and pay retail you know and they'll do my nails well the good these will beautiful things here <laughs> well brilliant now my nails <laughs> uh, david coates asks an important question uh do you like a two-man tank oh yes oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's me this week guys um, well done. sam this will be quick um, what she said, <laughs> that was a chair. One, one of these, money with uh, Mr. B, and another one of these. Oh, nice. that's been it up till now. That's been it, but that'll change tonight. <laughs> yep, that's me. Nice one, Sam. Jump right, other than the aforementioned fish tank. And all the various other guts to go with it. Just that thing that turned up for me. Oh, my no. oh. <laughs> It's a bit of a beast. Yeah, the plop. Yeah. Modeling wise, that is it for me this week. Right, okay. Oh, oh yeah, and I forgot. I also got them holders for the. Oh, yeah. I also got to them. Yeah. Where was that from? It was from you, you and P retail. Great site, you know. You want to get yourself from there. Oh, well, yeah. I see the uh, the fairy. The fairies are holding on to the bottle nicely. <laughs> yep. You get, you get a new mat, Norman. I got a new mat, mate. Did you not notice it? I, I bought myself yeah. a new mat. You see. Very nice. Uh, you need to get spill some of that tit on there and get rid of that humbro name. <laughs> I was just going to say, I don't think Dan spotted the brand yet. What what what, what name? <laughs> what what brand norm is it? I don't know, mate. It's written on my elbow. <laughs> it's from Lobrom Brum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or at least turn the H into a B norm. <laughs> Excellent. Uh Tim. Nothing. I've got no money to spend on kits at all about. Absolutely, haven't bought a thing. It's horrible to not buy anything, you know. It's really yeah. hard. It is. <laughs> but I've got to do it. I've got to do it. No worries, mate. Right. Uh, I bought a few things, but I forget now. I bought some muscle cars and a trailer from a truck and that, but the be I, mean, I can't really get them. I can't lie. But I did get this little lot of Facebook the other day for 100 quid delivered, uh, which is a bit of a bargain. Uh, I got a few issues with a couple of the kits because a couple have got crushed uh, A pillars. And um, one of them was actually started when specifically asked the seller whether they all new and unstarted. But for a bit of hassle and delay in posting, he did include me a uh, Preta, Bro Car, and a Spitfire. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's about it, really. A few other bits and bobs. And I forget, to be honest. It's been that long. I've not really bought it, I think, in the past week or so. Um, so yeah, all sorts of stuff. And that's it, really. But yeah, keep an eye out on the 1st September. I've got a muscle car build starting. 
Uh, there's details of it in one of my bench updates, and I'll go over it again for the next one. Um, basically, it's any American muscle car. So basically, anything with a big engine in it, really. Bar drag cars. I don't want drag cars in it. Um, and that starts first September, two months. You want to take part, join in. Um, right, Tim, are you ready? Yes, sorry, I just thought doing many, many things all in one go. <laughs> right, so we're going to go to Tim. He's going to look at all the latest um, kit releases. Yes, on the vamp, anyone can join. Uh, oh, yes. Foster Bear. There we go. Let me play. There we go. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to the Monkey House. Uh, John would like to let you know that he's borrowed that all in one go. <laughs> Evening, John. <laughs> I bet he's sitting there saying some lovely words right now. <laughs> can, can, yes. Sorry, Tim. Can I just quickly point out? Um, uh, Phil, um, uh, Bob Bobbington, um, said something about that Norma's tank looked like a Dalek, and he spelled Dalek incorrectly. Um, and then to immediately, Ma Ma uh, Michael Mitchell corrected his spelling of Dalek. But quite ironically, just a little bit further down, Michael Mitchell's just asked uh, Scale Model Vamp if he uses Uden stakes while building. Just thought I'd point that out. What was an Uden stake? I think he's supposed to say wooden, but he spelt it wrong, which was quite oh. funny. <laughs> anyway, it's Yeah, let's, let's not be doing a spelling check. Yeah, yeah we're yeah, modeling, we'll not quite, quite, shall we? Eh? We don't need yeah. that. We're not at school, so let's yeah. knock that on the head. Um, uh, don't, here. don't let me pull out the Uden stakes. <laughs> don't like it. <laughs> oh. Anyway, back to modelling. Right, yeah, back back onto the modelling. Um, Meng Meng are doing a slightly different variant of their Panthers. This is for uh, Ernst Barkman. I might have got that right. Sounds rough. Sounds rough. <laughs> rough. <laughs> anyway, so it's another Panther. Cool looking, lovely looking tank, man. Yes. One of the best tanks there. Yep. See you later, Graham. That's the Death Star. Yeah, that's we were a having a rather discouraging chat with Graham last night. Who knows absolutely nothing about Star Wars, <laughs> and uh, it was soul destroying to talk to him. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> anyone of Graham's age cannot know anything about Star Wars. I do know something about Star Graham Wars. Hang on, right. hang on, listen. Graham didn't know the difference between the Death Star and the Star Destroyer. No, I know the difference. I just didn't know which one was. He which. also, at one point, said that Anakin was Luke Skywalker's uncle. <laughs> it's, it's, it's no, to be fair, to be fair, what? you said you said, do you know who Anakin is? And I went, yeah, he's Luke Skywalker's dad, isn't he? And you all laughed at me. So goes on, oh, no, maybe he's his uncle. And I was right first time. <laughs> yeah, no, but it was just funny. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's shocking that a man. Of you know, pushing 50 doesn't know anything about pushing 50, you cheeky monkey. <laughs> 60 then. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we've got some box art for the new Death Star, and it, from the model pictures that it showed, it actually looks quite a good little kit. Well, no, how big that's going to be then. Uh, I mean, you see the scale, that means nothing, does it? I saw <laughs> somebody build one of those, whether well, it was the same kit, but it was like the size of a sort of squash ball, it was tiny. Yeah, yeah it's not big. It was really, no, no, no not squash ball. I, I think you're probably looking at um, a Tennis grapefruit ball. size. Hang on, does, does Graham know the difference between the squash ball and the grapefruit? Mm. <sighs> I, cup to C I cup. bet he's eating grapefruit and played squash. B, B cup to C cup? <laughs> I don't know. Like. Yeah. Moving on. Um, what I did spot, now I know some guys here like... Uh, want, want, definitely. Yeah, I know some people here. <laughs> do like um back to the future and <laughs> gate and stuff like that so i i absolutely love the new series of uh star trek star Galactic Gate. and you can get the two kids you can get the kelvin and you can get the franklin which are like awesome um which yeah definitely wants on my list as well are they're they on darth vader's team hey are they on darth vader's team yes they're on darth Vader's. <laughs> sorry just read the comments in the chat stevie and junior outdoors my daughter's boyfriend was shown a pic of R2-D2 and asked, who's that? To which he replied, exterminate. It's definitely getting, so it's getting confused with triplets and gigolos. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. 
Yeah. Um, so, Dan, yeah, let me know when you're getting some of these because these look awesome. Yeah, they do look good, don't they? Both of them look good. Like okay. it. Like it. Does Trisha look all get involved? Toby! 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 He's got his headphones on, so yeah. he's not going to hear, so it doesn't matter how loud you shout. Bloody children are. Uh, now, Edward, I've been doing this look series. Uh, the two kits have been, got have first been released for Artemis P51Ds. Now, Yahoo do do already do something like this. Now, you get it for Edward's what you get them for eight pound fifty. What you do get is you get the dials and you get the belts. Hmm. So, That's which true. actually makes it not bad value. They look, they look better than the Yahoo. Yeah, and they do, don't they? If that's what they look like. From what I can tell, that's that is what you get. It's very cool. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. that. The only thing is the P belts and the crap. Mm. That's the only downside. HGWs are better, in my opinion. Yes. Steel belts, they don't sit right. You, you can get them to conform, but when you start bending them, it peels the paint off. Now, I'm trying to work this out. This is brass in, brass in pre painted dashboard and steel belt sets. Yes, yeah, so it's all pre painted. Yep. So, yeah. So, as soon as you start folding that, which you have to conform some pretty tight turns to get around the seat. Yeah. Once the paint, the paint just falls off. Yeah, yeah I've had some of them do it. These are, I think they are the new steel, the steel versions. Yeah, I, yeah. I was going to say, when I did the ones on the, the let's not, Rest in peace, Mig. Um, they didn't. They they bent up lovely, and the paint didn't didn't flinch. Yeah, but when perhaps. I did, when I did the ones on something else, yeah, they were they were cracking as I was trying to bend them around. The, the normal belts are brass; it conforms easier. Mm. I've I've had yeah, I've had some of those where they work brilliantly, and like you say, then I've had some of us where literally the paint, as soon as you touch it, the paint just flakes straight off. Yes. And you're like, oh. So yeah, it's been. Well, it, I'd it, still pay a quid for that panel. That panel's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, right. now, what I'm trying to work out is it does say brass in brass in pre painted. Okay, so it is definitely is the, it is all pre painted for eight pound forty. That's a really good little dial set. To mm -hmm. be fair though, John, the chat's right. The kit dashboard's very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it it swings around a if it does need replacing. Mm. But they're going to do these for other kits that will obviously. You know, there's a whole the whole range of them. This yeah. is the first one. It does look good. Very good. Yeah. Very nice right. idea. Cool. Um, some some a few little figures. We think. Uh, well, more busts that have come out. This is from Nuts Planet S112 Traitor Bassford. Uh, looks pretty damn mean. He doesn't he? Mm. Um, over at History, it's thirty six pounds forty euros forty six dollars. <laughs> that one looks nice. Um, you got Nuts Planets 112 bust of Cleopatra. Definitely got some bust. Hister X, £34.80, £39.45. Looks good. Very nice. Um, we've got Young Miniatures, 110 scale B17 crew, 117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117117
yeah, it's going to be still going to be a big mm. size, that thing. Very nice. Uh, yeah. but it's just more forty pounds, fifty-five euros, fifty-one dollars. That's not a bad little price. Mm. Uh, that'd be a great little diet piece. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, the other Edward ones coming out is the P thirty-nine dual dual combo kit. This one, um, profi pack. So you get all the little bit of photo action masks with them. You can do do two different variants. I think there's ten different decal set uh, types in that one, uh, and they look like they're all lend lease. Uh, kit um, planes on that one, so they all like, look like the Russian markings. Uh, Vetra's Mall's £37, 41 euros, 47 dollars for that one. I've just checked on scale mates, mates, and the Evolution, the Albatross is the old MPM kit. Oh, yeah, maybe you give that one a miss, <laughs> might not be the best of the kits. That one, those, those P P39s are maybe really good kits, very nice. Yeah, Kids. Is that a cannon poking out the front of the spinner? Yeah, 37 yeah. millimeters. Cannon out front, two machine guns on top. Wow. Can we, can we, um, can we watch um, no. KSI v. Logan Paul no, go live? Away. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Go away. Good night. Sorry, a second. Right. No. Go away. Good night. Why can't? Bye. Put this. Go away. Oh, of course, yeah. Gorgeous. That's quite um, it's like a very different, a very different Tandy area doing the Colosseum okay. from 82 BC. That's weird, very weird, <laughs> most random thing I've ever seen. Mm. But they, they've been they've done their um Michelangelo's flying machines and mm. things like that, didn't they? So, this is yeah, if you like doing something a little bit different, I'm the, I couldn't see any size of it. You get a little reference book with the historical mm. features, instructions, and color indications. Um, or, you got waterproof it, you make a good cereal bowl. Very <laughs> <laughs> good idea. You have a battle with your Weetos or your Shreddies. Or a decal bowl. Yeah. Nice yeah. little decal bowl. Or a dog bowl. Did dog, yeah. Mm. Or a party. Mm. Hey, what party bowl? I got a bit far now, Norman. <laughs> 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 No, you couldn't fit many sets of keys in there. <laughs> was that the wrong type of party? Yeah. Um, Aoshima. Now, they've, they've <laughs> all got some rather horrible looking grey pictures, so I went and found a picture of the real car in it. This is, I've got to try and do this one Aoshima 124, Pagini, Hyura, Pacheto, Pacheto, yeah. Tempesta. <laughs> So, in other words, it's a Pagani, Pagani Hiara with a load of add-on carbon fibre. Now, the only problem is I keep hearing nightmares about that kit. Nothing fits on it. Yeah, it's not... It wasn't until um, Tony. Tony was building it did I realise that the doors don't move. You can either build them open or you can build them closed. You can't do one or... You can't open and move them, which I thought was a bit ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I thought, wow, oh, that's a bit st stupid. Seeing as uh, Tamiya could do the uh, 300 with the moving doors, but they, um, but Aoshima couldn't. Um, mm. Still, it's a, it's going to be a fantastically looking thing. Uh, £35.60 from Spot Model, €39.79, €46.16. Fabulous looking car. I've never seen one of them in the flesh yet. But mm. Um, now, from Fujimi, we've got their Porsche 911. Now, this is a very re new kit. This is not why their old ones repopped. It does look good, that, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two slight different variants. You've got the 74 Le Mans and the, uh, the rear ends. You see the, the intakes. Oh, yeah. That's, that, that's, that's actually really nice, though. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I, so I think they're meant to be both sides. There's a slight difference. See the rear fins on the top ones has got this little... Uh, or knacker ducks in the mm. back end, and these ones have like bigger, bigger lips, and then they, it's different, uh, slightly different decal set as well. Yeah, that's smart. I like that's dear though, isn't it for a Fujimi? Yes, it is expensive. Yeah. Um, I bought one over there, now. I be on. Yeah, I've just bought it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Do what you think of it when it comes. Yeah, it's very. It's, uh, that's a, one of their brand new ones. They released it recently on their Japanese racing line. Mm. Um, which, which which didn't really have anything in it other than the kit, but this is now a proper martini. It's a mental looking car. Mm. Oh, I just noticed as well. Actually, the spoilers are very different, completely. Yeah. Different. Oh yeah, yeah, much. Which the, one did you get, Sam? the Watkins is yeah. very much higher. Which one did you get, Sam? Top one. 
Top one. They're cool, aren't they? Yeah. Real yeah. kills, not there. It's the spoiler. It's, it's just a spoiler. Mm. I can't see yeah. behind the uh, the the uh, thumbnails, but does that say Porsche and Audi on the bottom one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You remember Porsche, uh, Audi uh, have owned Porsche for quite a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Porsche, uh, the 922-924 is an Audi engine. The early ones for the four-cinder was an Audi engine in there. Labelled as Porsche, but it's still an Audi block. Yes, it's been they've, they've been joined for many 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 years and it's been it's not as widely it's, so nowadays you don't see audi parts in porsches it's quite separate now but it's still mm -hmm. in the same so I, th yeah. I think it's, i think they're still joined um yeah hero boy 40 pound 55 euros 51 dollars not the cheapest but it's a fantastic looking car mm, really is nice mm, cool. uh, now talking of not too cheap but oh, fantastic yeah, well. cars, um, the Fujimi 112 R32 GTR has been re-released, which looks absolutely fabulous. Nice big kit. Mm -hmm. uh, Hero Boy, £145, £161, Euros, $185. Cool. If you like road cars, that's cracking. If you like race cars, the Fujimi did sell this kit with about 10 different decal sets for different ones. You had the HKS, Calsonics. Uh, there's quite a few variations so fingers crossed they'll be, they'll be bringing out the race versions of this as well which will be very very popular because it's very different wheels roll cage different bumpers different rear bumper on there so yeah the joe's in saying it's 2d i don't think it is i think no. when you look at the tamiya 12 scale they're like 300 quid yeah that's not yeah that's not dear that is not dear the price for a 12 scale car it's big this is a 2006 kit i think it was but it's when it first came out so it's not a really really modern kit but it's still got good detail and for the price you're not going to get any 112 scale kit at that sort of price i think when um uh, was it you you shared a link to it paul a while back didn't you mm -hmm. one of the other versions of it anyway and initially i i looked at the prices thought bloody hell, that's a lot of money but actually when you look at the kit and consider it's 112 scale so it's massive anyway but when you look at what's in, what comes in the kit um that's not a bad price i think that's that's you know th th there's a lot there and it's a bit on it's a big scale do, do you know what's even worse is these were selling on ebay before they did all this re-release these were going for like near 600 pounds wow these were worth big wow. money i've seen them there's a guy uh, who sells those kits at telford every year he has one of them sitting up there and it's near 500 five 600 pounds it is and it's, it's i'll give it to it it's always sitting there but that's mm. what that's what they're selling for because they were unavailable. So there's a lot of people out there who are probably quite miffed that this big valuable kit now has uh, gone down. But still, I'd I'd quite happily have one. But ain't gonna mind. Very nice. Mm. Um, from Fly Models, they've uh, shown they're doing two new different Arado kits. So these are gonna be slightly different variations of the kits they've already released. So it's a two three four B dash two dash slash 3S, which is a non-radar bomber, and then you've got the radar bomber down there. I'm not going to start saying all the names because I'm just going to get tongue-tied. Um, it's not the easiest kit, but it's a great-looking kit. Yeah, mm, yeah good-looking bird, that way. Mm. Happiness looking blame. One of, one of the first very proper uh, production jet, uh, jet uh, planes, that one. Now, this company I came across over on Hannant's. This is stuff that's all going to be coming out in the future. They are all 172. And they are very weird. They're all basic, based on resin. So... Man. <sighs> Get ready for Tanner. <laughs> Maybe what you can do by sign language. Yeah, it's amazing what you can do. Um, yeah, they're all resin kits, so, and they're all weird. These are all what ifs. Um, so, like most most planes, the the army or whoever the air force say, we want a plane that does this, this, and this, and you have a few different companies put forward designs. Now, these are all the designs that must have never made it actually into production. But this company have started making them in resin. So, like the Paul uh, Bolton Paul, that's a fabulous looking bit of uh, mm. weird looking plane. That one, 
Um, you've got a strange boat race plane, a Fokker Wolf, which is even more pencil shaped than the pencil. Uh, this Messerschmitt down the bottom, I don't know where that was designed from. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. And I don't know how old that design was because that's a. I didn't think Mr. Smith still made planes past the um, World War II. That man, aircraft. Very cool. Um, this one's this one really caught my eye. The Dornier oh. Canard Cloverleaf. Oh. It's, quite, it's quite a good size as well for one seventy two. That's mental. Mental looking thing, isn't it? Absolutely. It's, like it's rocket propelled or rocket propelled. Yeah, it's like wow. That's quite cool. Uh, you got a f- weird looking fairy. Oh, cool. Mm. Which is a really odd shape. <laughs> there's there's got to be a joke in there. So. Yeah. And then you've got the alternative Harriet with the stumpiest looking oh. set of wings I have ever seen in my life. Very strange. I have fairy though. That's cool. Yeah, it's quite a nice looking, uh, nice looking plane. What they are like, what a lot of these uh, resin kits are a real hit and miss. You've got to do so much work yourself. But very cool, nice idea. Mm. I know it's lots of them. You've got an airspeed, which is, uh, doesn't make any sense. No, it's just weird. <laughs> That's weird. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, what? It's a different that thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's like it's got an escape <laughs> pod attached to some wind. You know what that looks like? It looks like it's steered with a tiller. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it would have flown like that as well, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the the wow. gopher looks quite cool, and the Miles M22 is like yeah. a whirlwind mm, yeah. thing. It's like a cool, cool like looking racer, yeah. yeah. So, uh, if you like some resin, they were all uh future releases and they were all starting around about 30 quid, so they're not cheap. And they'll all be warped, yeah. They're all, they're, it's, mm-hmm. Don't be expecting anything special, but you're gonna build something that's uh, you're never gonna see again, so. Especially if it's got a long and that sticks out to tail separately, that's definitely yeah. going to be twisted and all. Oh, it's no, you don't know. It might be all right. Yeah. It's a company called Unicraft. I don't think I've heard them before, but something odd and very interesting. So if you like something odd, I know there's a few guys that really quite like in building some weird and wonderful British stuff. So that could uh, well float their boats and that. Um, news from BMAX. Yeah, like them. The fives will be that have been released in that. I'm not my most favourite scheme. Will be releasing these two, oh. and uh, the Hawaiian Tropic is a total yes. Are they ready for pre-order, Tim? Hey, are they ready for pre-order? No, 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 nothing yet. Nothing yet. Oh. They're just they're showing oh. them as uh, coming out soon. I like the wheels on the red one. Mm. Yeah. I do too. They're all the same wheels. They're all the same set of wheels. You, how the hell are you going to paint those right. decals on them? They've got, to, they've got to be multimedia wheel, them, aren't they? No. Yeah, they'll be, they'll be plastic. What? Will they be plastic? I reckon so. Yeah. Yeah. You can buy, there is a company, Scale Productions are making metal rims for these cars. I want to say if they were, if it were a multimedia rim, you could paint them separate. Yeah. Obviously, and then assemble. Yeah, what, yeah if that's just plastic, that's going to be black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fantastic looking uh, pair of cars, those two. Uh, also, they're doing a couple of different variations of the BMW M3. They've got the Jägermeister and the Fina. Mm-hmm. That looks nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like how the lights uh, with the lights illuminated. That looks quite nice. Yeah, the lo- lovely moody photo. Yeah. And then you've got a whole range mm-hmm. of, of different E46s coming out. Yeah. Quite quite so you've got them from four door two liters up to M3 GTRs, which is quite cool. Yeah. And that Advan in the middle. Oh yeah, yeah. The white one's nice for the red and blue stripes. Oh, you got you got a Siemens one. I like the black and white. Yeah, the top left one. The one's nice. Yeah, yeah top left. <sighs> yeah, red, white, and blue. Black, black, black and red Advan. I like that one. It's yeah. okay. Hey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, in fact, good, good lot of BMAXs. So they're really, they're really getting into this touring car stuff, which is going to be good. I think they'll, they'll do well. Yes, they will do well. Mm-hmm. At that. Somebody's buying a decent house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ming Tunes has done, done the Type Seven Das Booty. Hannon's <laughs> uh, <laughs> eighteen pounds, twenty pounds, twenty euros, twenty three dollars. That one, like that one, cool little thing. Mm. Uh, if you'd like to waste a load of money. <laughs> but 
I'll give it. It, it does look damn cool. Uh, the yeah. Magak Five Mine Roller. I'll give it. It does look really damn cool. But sixty three pound. Oh. No, no, no. Man, man. Uh, Seventy euros. Eighty dollars on that one. Crazy. Love, I do love a mine roller on a tank though. Do look good. Ooh, I think my wife should have brought me a cup of tea. Uh, Freedom Models have done a load of little um, egg type planes. They've done the one, uh, 104 Starfighter, which does look really cool. Cool in that sort oh, of thing. really good, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. And then they've got the F5s as well. Which look, actually look really, really good in their little uh, stumpy size. Yeah, keep them going. It's an egg plane. Move it to one. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it is a big plane for you. So, yeah. FX and there are showing that they're going to be bringing out the. Uh, full tanker future release at hand at 60 pounds, 67 euros, 76 dollars on that one. So, if you like a refueling dio, that is absolutely perfect. Uh, they've got the ears, aren't they? Uh, yep, yeah. yep, yeah. they come with it or they're available in 72. Ah, uh, still be separate. Can you buy them in 72? Yeah, I don't know. I would have thought so. Yes, no idea. Oh, I imagine oh, Revel. Next release after this one. Yeah, I imagine Revel do 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 a one thing back in here, but I don't know think Airfix do. Uh, mm. Hopefully that I hope that one forty eight fund will be out soon enough. Yeah, Airfix do a one seventy second. How old is it though? Uh, hold on, mate. It's two seven sixty six. <laughs> <laughs> out the year before it was made. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Have a look. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, sixty. Yeah, leave that alone. Let's have a look at the no, no. Oh, with a new tool, nineteen eighty nine. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what, what wide one around that one? Yeah. Um. So, I spotted over on the Hallant site. They've got some true detail bases in, uh, for car bases. So if you want to do, do, do building some cars, and you want to, say, to put it on, that's not bad for twenty five quid. Uh, twenty eight euros, thirty two dollars from Hans. Uh and then they do do a museum display. Oh, which is quite a nice little. Uh, mm, quite like yeah, you can see Rich Blanc's car sitting there, couldn't you? <laughs> Perfect for it. Uh, Hans thirty five ninety nine forty euros forty six dollars on that. Look nice. Um, uh, Ryfield are doing a slightly different version of their Tiger, which is the late production with some aerials on it. I love that thing. Ah, what well, is quite cool? Whoa. Tacom are doing this whole thing all as one kit. Wow! Now, you can buy that truck and the trailer from Hobby Boss, costing you about a hundred quid. You can buy the D9. That costs you about another 50 odd quid for that one but the problem with them is it doesn't make it too expensive it's just huge yeah that takes up a big amount of room that's got right. a challenges name written all over exactly. it exactly yeah. tacom are doing the whole thing in 172 scale which for that sort of thing all in one go brilliant idea yeah absolutely brilliant that box is going to be huge then isn't it it's still going to be a good size yeah. i've got them both the 35th mate it's bloody massive yeah I think in one city two that will be a very popular little boxing. Yeah, I think so. I think very nice idea. One coming my way, I love it. Yeah, yeah. I imagine it's big, big enough so you can have some fun with it, but not big enough that it's going to take up too much space. So. Too small. But even in one city two, that's still going to be over a foot long. Easily, yeah. Easily, still going to be a nice size. Nice idea, Tackle. Yeah. Um, from them as well, they're making use of their Panther chassis. They're going to be the, the flat coalian and then the flat ver, uh, flat veiling with the MG15120 and a 20mm, which is a funky turret. I, I know I've seen that turret in paper panzers, but I didn't think that actually ever does a proper release. But the coalian was a well used uh, aircraft tank, which is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I had the old Dragon kit, and that was a bit. Yeah. <clears throat> That would be nice. Um, from Special Hobby in 148, they're doing the AF3S Guardian, which is a weird old plane. Very cool. Very weird. Yeah. Um, you get some boom. You get a full resin engine with it as well. Um, so you get a good bit of kit in there. Probably won't fit together too well, but you'll be building something very different. 
very nice, nice hospital shop for you. What's that at the back of a town? Hey, what's that? I think thing? it's some sort of radar boom. All oh, right. Yeah, there'll probably be an anti-submarine um, plane. Mm. I don't imagine that thing. Is that yeah. a, is that a tail wheel at the back? No, no, it's it? a boom. No. I believe that was the. Yeah. The replacement for the what do you call it? Carrier version. No, no, that one in front. Yes, it's got like a little thing. Yeah, a little, a little wheel sticking out the bottom. Yeah. Mm. So is that a tail wheel? Yeah. How's it going to land with that stick sticking out then? It retracts. Yeah, it goes, ah. pulls, yeah, it pulls it all the way back up. Ah. Yeah. Mm. It, it yeah. grows then, does it, and then shrinks. <laughs> when he get when he gets up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um also from special hobby they're doing 132 v1s now they're doing the piloted version of the v1 if you want to go kill yourself and then they got the unpiloted version of the v1 uh and what is quite good is if, if you have got the hk models glossed meteor you can do them sitting next to each other as the uh friend and the foe mm. how is a pilot ever supposed to get that thing it wasn't yeah, yeah. Long trip. that looks a busy sprue that doesn't it yeah. yeah, there's not much going on. I would say you'll never find all parts on that sprue. Over, over lettered. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Uh, Thunder models have got a 135. They don't tell you what it is, but I'd imagine that it's going to be a German long carriage. Okay. Uh, Thunder model, bit of a train stuff. As we heard earlier, Altman modeling products have got the customizable sanding pads. Oh, so they? Sorry, sanding sheets. There's me putting pads. It's actually a sheet. There we go. Uh, £5.69, £6.34, £7.25. You've got you've got four different... Is it five or four, sorry? Four, four grits and then there's a multi-pack. Yeah, I say four grits and then a multi-pack. I, I knew that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's available on those. Very nice. Then you've got the Ultimate Modeling Products Decal Solution Holder. Nice idea, that. Very nice. Yeah, that a good idea. Quite cool. And it's in gold. Because why not? Five pound ninety nine, six pound sixty eight euros. Yeah, I know it cost me seven or ten of that. <laughs> seven euros sixty five. <laughs> uh, no, Greg, I never get that far. <laughs> Help me with products. Tet holders in different colours now. Four pound ninety nine, five pound five euros fifty six, six dollars thirty seven on those, and UMP thirty percent off all washes from the nineteenth of August to the twenty seventh of August. Yeah, fresh Sunday till next Monday, I think it yep, is. That's what it is. Hell of a day. Yep. That's that's a bargain. Get oh, on that yeah. And that's it. Good night all. Have a good week. Good weekend. Thanks, Ron Tim. Thanks, Rob. Great job as always. Um Al McNeish just said that thing hanging out the back of that thing was a, a magnetic anomaly detector. Oh that boom yeah, thing. So so submarine sub them? Yeah, submarine hunter then. Mm. I don't want to fly past me. I just stick it. Yeah. Well done, Tim. Thanks for that, mate. Cool, cool. Brilliant. Um, hope you didn't hear any racket when I disappear for a minute. Then. I heard your door close. Yeah, that's all right. Um, yeah. Right. Okay. So we'll do our last giveaway. Um, so we're going to give that away. Cargo um, truck. Very nice. On the AK paint set, candidated by Frey. A model uh, emporium dot shop nice price I'll have a good phrase website absolutely brilliant and there's a pack of haribo and a, a discount card there for as well so all you gotta do there is look for graham say start numbers now we start a five minute timer you guys pick one number from one to a thousand at the five minutes up we stop it we do a live random number generator and the closest person to it wins it's as simple and as easy as that you ready graham you ready norman yeah i'm ready in three Two, one, number start. Number start now. Can you eat your countdown, Norm? What about the big brother house? He's not as nice as Carol Waterman. Carol Waterman? No. Rachel Riley. Oh, no, Rachel Carol Waterman is nice. Rachel Riley. You don't think she looks younger now than she did 20 years ago, Carol Waterman? Uh, yeah. Tell you what. That's a fake um, me. That I went to see that Spitfire documentary, the, uh, the cinema, and oh, she yeah. was doing like the intro to it in this really tight, sort of fitting outfit. Oh, Graham, Graham, nice children watching. <laughs> uh, she's, she's lovely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, 
so many jokes. Yeah, there's more plastic on the nick of the orcs. It's, it's, yeah. it's a family show. <laughs> Well, so much for getting finished with decals. Uh, Sly Dennis said he was halfway through spraying his Shackleton and his uh, compressor blew up. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oops. That's never good, especially when you've got an airbrush full of paint. Yeah, so it's the pistons shade. So wow, that must be, uh, that must be, yeah, that's been worked heavy then. Yeah. Not good news, and there's a name we haven't seen for a while. Alex Hillman's back. Yeah, I've seen him. him for a while over summer. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Gav says, always retract before landing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> another joke in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, a few people commenting on that M1070. Uh, John Newton was asking, What's the yellow panel on the F104 cockpit? That's the drinks trolley holder. Ah, there you go. Oh, I was waiting for somebody to give an actual serious answer, but I guess not. Um, <laughs> no serious. About it. And a shameless plug when anyone's after a resin Peugeot 206 Group B rally car, I got one for sale. 150 pounds, but I got one for sale. One SU24 Fencer D with a full big headset. There you go. Which I was going to if you want. Oh, Matt, 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 <laughs> Matty's metal detecting's there. Um, posted for the first time after saying he wasn't very confident last week. But he posted his um, models, and he had the, the the two planes on the sort of standy thing. Um, but really good, mate. Keep posting. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Frey. Uh, yes, I got loads of books, mate. Um, mostly Allied, man. Well, they're all Allied. I think we took up all the gems. Was it Allied you're after? Was it everything? I got plenty of books left for sale, mate. If you want to pick or a list, I can send it to you. Yeah. Right, got one minute, 25 seconds. Well, he wants to know when you're going to do a bench update, Graham. You know what? I've been having a bit of a think. Um, I've had some stuff going off um, over the last month or two, um, and I've not really felt in a position where I wanted to do some videos, but um, I've been sort of thinking that I need to get back to it. Um, so hopefully, all being well, I'll get something done this week. Hopefully. Well, this week coming. Be good to see. It's something for Tim not to watch. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Bray, I got a few books on Sherman, some very nice ones as well. Really nice. Uh, but I've got a load of books left on all sorts of stuff. Um, so if you're on a list, mate, I can fire one off tomorrow. Kids go back this week, don't they, Dan? Or Tim? Not Tim. Your man, what do you call him? Graham. Graham. <laughs> hey, look, I've had my medication about two hours ago, you know what I mean? Borderline <laughs> conscious here. Uh, no, mate, they've got another another couple of three weeks, I think. Yeah, they're about halfway yeah. through, aren't they? Yeah, my um, my big lad goes back a week earlier, and I think he's just before the end of September. Then the little one's back first week in September. Mm. Yeah, oh, we get it back. Three, two, one. Number stop. stop. There we go. No worries, Frey. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Anyway, right, okay, so we're going to random.org. We'll put a thousand in there. We'll zoom in a bit. Right, so you can click this one, someone tell me. This is for the German three ton cargo truck. Painter, pack arrows, and a 5% discount at Frey Shop, which is Model Emporium Dot Shop. Make sure you head over there and have a look. Um, as always, the first number of picks is the winning number. 
and the two people have the same number the first person to pick those Matthew wins as always don't shout out you think one in the chat these guys will check it and so the winner Graham will announce it so the winner number four the model kit and the paint set is 938 wow 938 top of the shop uh, Victor you're too late watch it Victor Victor Uh, seeing lots of names in the chat. So obviously you're watching and enjoying the show. Feel free to comment, guys. Say hello. Tell us who you are, what you're doing, what you're building. Yeah, it was a high number that one. A world of clever wins it. God. Hell of a prize, that. Hmm. Victor's working on a Rebel F3 tornado he found in the attic. Oh. And sees Gabriel ready to join in on the fair. I didn't know you were a snake charmer, Steve. Mm -hmm. And Michael got his UMP order in yesterday. Apparently, don't do Haribo's yeah. in the states like that. I'm with you on that one. Yep, I concur with that one. Yeah. So I'll double check. Yep. Yeah. All happy. Yep. Okay, so for the uh, German truck and paint set donated, or yeah, donated by um, Model Emporium Shop, um, Paul used random.org to draw the number 938, and the closest to that was James Buckingham with 908. Well done, mate. Well done, James. Excellent. I think we've already got your address. I think you yeah. cool. Well done. Yeah, well done, man. And I'll get another post here next week. You lucky, lucky man. That's a lovely price. Yeah. And I think that's going to either New Zealand or Australia. New Zealand. I think it's New Zealand. Yay! I think it is. So well done, James. Well done, well done, James. That's mm. it. I'll get that on the post to you next week. I'll double check I've got your uh, address. I think I have them. And if not, I'll uh, I'll message you and get it back off you. But there you go. So I think that's just done for the night and the show. So I think we'll just sit back and chill for a bit. I'm not yeah. sure, are we? Uh, no. No. Nope. No. There we go then. Right, I'm going to put my camera over the bench then. Okay. Hey. Okay, oh, I'll tell you what I will like. Uh, I will say. Um, so, as Paul mentioned earlier, the um, ISM forum has uh, been getting lots of new features added to it, and there are more to come. Um, and that's all been done by um, Matthew, who is um, very, very clever and very, very talented. And uh, Matthew also proved himself to be very, very generous this week and made um, a rather substantial donation to um, Models for Heroes. Um, and uh, I just wanted to give him some uh, some big up for it on the uh, on the show. So, thank you very much, Matthew, once again. I know it's you personally. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, um, I didn't screenshot them. That, oh, dad dancing! If ever Sorry, I saw yeah. it, that was, um, that was really cool. Um, and I will just do another shameless plug for models for years. If anybody's got any tools or paints that um, they can um, spare, get in touch with um, Models for Heroes either on Facebook or at modelsforheroes.co.uk. And um, if you can donate anything like that, that would be fantastic. Thank you very much. And there we are. There we are. Bro goes quiet now. Yeah. Welcome to the quiet. <laughs> yeah, James says he's in New Zealand. Yeah, I know. Crashing, uh... smashing, crashing, crashing. Oops. My camera over. All right, what am I going to work on? I know.
Banner. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, I don't... Just missed the giveaway. Oh, dear. His usual number is 930. Oh. What was the winning number? 938. Ooh. <laughs> Everybody's low, isn't it? Yeah. Don't. Don't put Lottery on. <laughs> no feature about this kit was pointed out the other day. Is that is actually a one piece spring in plastic that actually works? Wow, cool! But to attach it to the model, it goes on there like that, and that bit goes over there like that. All oh, right, and you don't actually see it at all. Sounds about right. Such a shame. Right, so yeah, so like Sparmax for 160. Spend that little bit extra, mate. I got a review on the channel. If you go back through the channel, honestly, mate, for that money, you want the Sparmax. Well, I'm getting next. Um, going back to that um, Tacom kit with the D9 on the back. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is obviously the scaled down version of something similar from Tacom. So I know that the thir the thirty fifth scale version and these hobby headquarters built that and he mounted it on a thirty six inch board and it was it was end to end on the board so it's about three foot long. That's the thirty fifth scale version. Now this is the one seventy second scale and this one is just uh, uh, just about thirty four centimeters long. So about just over twelve inches. I say if you want a one thirty fifth trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's definitely going to be a lot more manageable than seventy second scale. Um, and whilst it might be a bit more fiddly, as I said before, the the, the fit on this has been bang on. Um, it's a little bit awkward because it's a small, but no fit issues at all. So if it's the same as that, I reckon I'll be having that because I've really enjoyed doing this one, or I'm enjoying doing this one. So I need to make some wheels. Wheels are hard. Sorry to hear that, DJ G down under. Because he joined Sam's short and digit club last week. Last week, lost the end of his right index finger. Oh, bless. A monkey. What a scratch! You went to see that mega, didn't you, Dan? That what? Mega, the sharp one. No, not yet. Ah. Uh, not somebody has, but I can't remember who it was. Somebody dead, didn't they? Where it was, not like Brian Dreyer's, what I thought, wasn't it? Did if we hear any words from Andreas's new work would be? No, no, he started to announce it and then he stopped and then, yeah, I'm quiet. I'm still going with the gigolo. <laughs> well, it needs two more, at least, at least. No, his trousers are too tight. <laughs> <laughs> That's just giving me a really grim
Like a library, like a library in here. Very quiet. Very quiet. Until somebody does that. Well, any time I talk, he just tells to shut up anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> Does he not shut up? Make a move, fellas, before I start yawning or snoring. Uh, okay, John, mate. I'll, uh, catch up with everyone later. See you, buddy. Later, all. Have fun. Question that, Luke. <sighs> uh -huh. Anyone want to turn interesting over the weekend? Uh, no, free weekend, no grandkids. Uh, I might be decorating. Oh, lovely! No, it's not. You're not knocking around tomorrow. No. Well, I'll be here like a bad smell. I've got shopping to do tomorrow, or more wedding stuff. I'll buy. Oh. Oh, fun. 
fun day. Fun game. Fun and game. Ooh, I'm going to spend some Few people working. Sean's going to Steam Rally. John's got his day two of his garage sale. Oh, garage sale. Garage. How long does it take to sell a garage? I don't know. have to keep us updated how many days it takes him. Yeah. Brick by brick. <laughs> Have a five minute countdown for a brick to sell. Send <laughs> <coughs> your PM in. Me? Yeah. Okay. Luke's in the hangout tomorrow. Yes. Get it finished. Are you going to see you? Oh, you're in your set. <laughs> I never thought, I never thought until I went. Oh, yeah, I can, Sam, but you'll have to let yeah. them know. Yeah. I'll email them. I'll get them to refund you, but you're in your set. No, no. I never thought. I wasn't a five months there, and I went, uh, right, okay. Uh, Idiot. I know what's just happened. Yes. No, you uh, don't. <laughs> Have you got a camera in our bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. I think my sister has. Ooh. Every time I go to the bathroom, she rings me. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the kids wanted to go for a late night swim. Oh dear. I don't know if I'm going to be coming or not. Something else I'm going to tell you. I'll tell you more. That's me, you That's a fence. Forgot about it. No problem, James. Philip, what on earth are you going on about? <laughs> are you expecting Phil to know what Phil is going on about? So much random stuff in the world. <laughs> Very strange. I suspect many alcoholic beverages may have been consumed. Or is way past his meds time. I've had my meds with them before. No, you're not. 
Yeah, she wrote this one. I know, but I forgot to tell you yesterday. <sighs> I was going to tackle these oversized lap belts, but I couldn't be bothered. Mm -hmm. They're way over scale. There's a nice little kit. Yes, I really enjoyed it. Strange that a couple of kits now the windows go on from the outside. Yeah. Which I thought was unusual. What else? The M3 did that, didn't it? Yeah. Bastos. Got a couple of um, 206 decals. Skin. <coughs> you bought them? Yeah. Nice. And I bought an Evo 5. Ah. Porsche. Or something else, but I can't remember what else I got. A load of paint. Excellent. Right. See you, Gav. All the tomorrow. A little bit of luck. <laughs> See you, Phil. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a spider. It was me. <laughs> I was waiting for it. What was spider? Yeah. Yeah, we're all the newspaper. No. Have you ever watched that arachnophobia, Graham? Yeah. I have never watched all of it. Yeah, it's a good film. Yeah. It doesn't paint spiders in a very good light, but... That and acting. <laughs> yeah, spiders aren't very good at acting. All the actors that were in it. They don't take direction very well. Do with a bag of a slapper. What spiders are the actors? The spiders, I'm both. Yeah. They could always watch eight legged freaks. Better Don't them. hurt spiders. Why? They're our friends. Why, right? You don't like them? Huh? You don't like them? I love spiders. Do you? Yeah. They don't. Apart from when they rattle around in me sprues, but. All right, well, we'll say no more about that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what to include next time you send them a kit, Sam. Yep. Because I sent them a grubby old plaster that'd be on my finger for a couple of days. <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's a special prize, that is. Well, that was to me. Paul's already got one. Yep. <laughs> I'm not joking either. <laughs> Purely by accident. Took the bottom of the box and I thought, oh, it's a plaster. <laughs> <laughs> it came off when it was taped in the box. Oh, I, was, I was gipping. I'm going to say that. Right, I meant to ask you, Sam, did you find you missing in the pants after boxing up all them stuff you were sending out? I did, mate. Oh, that's all right. They weren't in the boxing. No. Just, uh, I don't think I should send you them, Kate Maria. Find them. <laughs> I mean, the 10 grand offer still there, I think, Norman, if you're... Oh, no, Matt already accepted that, mate. Yeah. 
if you're feeling brave. What was, uh, what was the offer again? <laughs> <laughs> Ten grand. I can't remember the details, but our <laughs> what was a 10 grand offer to eat my boxers? No. Um, You'd have to pay me a lot more than that, sweet cheeks. <laughs> if I pay you money, Graham, can you talk to me like I'm from my own? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no problems there. John Goodman did a stellar job in that movie. Oh, in um, Spider One, yeah. Arachnophobia. Mm. It was brilliant, Knuckle Buck. Yeah, I can't really remember the film, to be honest. It's good in that one. Uncle Buck. It was a good show. That was John Candy, wasn't it? Yeah, it's John Candy. That's a different one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were trolling, to be honest. <laughs> it's the drugs that can't help it. Yeah, blame the drugs. When it starts singing, boys, just be. Who are drugs? What have the drugs ever done to you? They get the blame for everything. <laughs> Pick up your brain. JC Lebedev's just joined this late this evening. Good evening, all. Hello, mate. Hello, Mr. Hmm? What's oh, one of your still ones? Yeah, man, yeah. yeah. I'm not okay. too happy about it. I'll be going soon. I've got an early start. No cameras off, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It doesn't like people watching him when he's doing that. Special thing. Yeah, uh, Sharpie's away. Yeah, yeah is it works more any? <laughs> Excuse me, yeah. Oh, A. Grange says you've got an AS186 compressor to plug into his new UMP Abex. Yeah, pet oh. even. Oh, and try and mm. for the first time this weekend. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah, awesome. Oh, yeah. Jamie. Yeah, I need to sort of. Uh, no, I'll give a big shout out to him for the cheese. I was hoping to see him in the chat, to be honest. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. We're getting blattered. That's celebrating. See you, Steve. Take care, buddy. Uh, 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 I think. Uh, <laughs> well, fuck, you must have been. That's why Tim's camera's off. <laughs> Don't worry, doing it, man. Tim's concentrating. Concentrate. Uh, no chance. You worked on anything nice this week, Tim? Um, <sighs> no, not really. See, you get one of these new Lambos in. No, nah, none of them at the moment. No, but if you didn't, you have to strip the inside of it out to put new speakers or new systems or whatever. We had a 328F1 Spider come in the other day. Oh, my gosh. It had been left out in the open for the last two years untouched. What? And, and it must have been around trees as well. 
it, every time we started it, it started burning. There was so much stuff inside the engine bay. So I had to blow it all out, get a jet wash, get jet wash all the engine, try and wash the car down. The whole car needs a repaint. There's rust coming up everywhere. The roof, this is a convertible, so the roof's wrecked. Yeah. You ever see on YouTube the cars that are left in Dubai and Abu Dhabi at the airport? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously, guys that are trying to get away for certain reasons and they just dump the cars. What I was going to say to you was say you get something like a spider in or a Lambo in, you know, a million quid, and you have to work on it. Do you ever, when you're halfway through working on it, look and think, why the hell did I ever start this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to try and put them jobs off and leave my boss and say to my boss, there's a reason we can't do it and uh, yeah. go do something else. <laughs> <laughs> there's about three of those jobs at the moment my boss wants me to try and do, and I'm like, I don't want to do that. Mm. If anybody out there has got a BMW 3 Series E46 Coupe two front door cards in anthracite, please let me know. <laughs> I don't have to try and rebuild two door cards. I want to, I need two door cards, so I can't get hold of them. From BMW, they are six hundred pounds a door card, and then and they're not even available. And they're out of stock for the next four years. Yeah, and but if we if we if we want to order the do, the correct door cards, which are for a BMW CSL, which is the lightweight E46 Coupe a M3, uh, they are two and a half grand a door card, <laughs> and they still don't have them in stock. You have to wait for them. Serious, <sighs> Bill. And yeah, uh, better what hardboard? No, I reckon the lightweight ones would be carbon or something. Well. So the a lightweight one, the outside edge of the door card is still the original, and they just chop out the middle. They take all the airbag and all the stuff out the door that you don't need, and then they fit a carbon panel in there. But the outside edge, which I need, is still a standard E46 door card. I just need to get hold of one. Can't get them. Very annoying. Uh, chuck a half knob on with Dan. They're mm. the king of the dunkers. Yeah. Yep. Proper. At least they hold a ship for a while. Except you get a load of crap like round about me, bro. Yeah, that's well. That's the that's the, the downside. If you're a heathen, what you do is you you get down to the last inch, get a quick you know like a, a rotation in your cup, and then just lob it back. Yeah. Or the best, then, the best or thing for the brew. Is a penguin biscuit. Oh, I, yeah. Bite both ends off and suck your bro through the biscuit. Yeah. Yeah. And then shove the biscuit in your mouth. It's all melted oh. inside. I had a penguin biscuit at lunchtime. Oh, after lunch. It's so good. Oh, it is nice. Try it though. I like them Jordy biscuits, Ganabaldi. Ganabaldi. You've been making am I? Ganabaldi's. Uh, Jermaine says Tim Revel are going to release. Is Revel oh, going to release the new GT40 kit? Say again, sorry. Jermaine's asking if Revel are going to release the new GT40 kit. Apparently they will. Oh, hang on, it's not a new GT40. It's quite a few years old, but yes, they are doing the Le Mans GT40. Problem is, they only look really actually, they only really look very nice is in the night time when all the LEDs are lit up and the uh, air ducting through the back ends all illuminates. It looks absolutely wonderful. The normal daylight, they aren't the best looking cars, I don't think. And they haven't got a V8. They have an American race car without a V8 in it. What engine is in it? V6. Oh, okay. EcoTech Turbo. Eco tech, yeah. Oh no, eco boost. Eco boost. Not the one that's putting the trucks over there in America. Nah, it's just they call it the eco boost because it's um it's got a turbo and it's four. Yeah. 
reality is just a great big term. It sounds economical and it's not really. Definitely not economical. Well, boys, I'm going to have to go because my eyes are starting to go. All right, mate. See you tomorrow, Sam. Bye. Take it easy, guys. See you, Sam. Take care, mate. Deploy a top tip from Paul here on gluing in some um, glazing into a metal frame, into a plastic frame, obviously. Um, and thanks to Paul's top tip, I'm not going to use any glue. I'm going to use a little drop of aqua gloss. That's a good idea. Just a dot. Dong. See you later, Sean. Take care, mate. Oh, oh dear! Oh no! Who oh, no. no. that? Terrible. No man! That was terrible. No man! No man! <laughs> no man! Now, <laughs> do we find him or let him off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That little, that little whimper there. Do you want me to take a breath? It was a yawn, boys. It was, it was a yawn. yawn. It was a yawn. No, it was a yawn. Yeah, it was a yawn, yeah. Great. I'll find you for your yawn earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yawn? Uh, I, I haven't yawned. Yes, you have. When? Well, somebody did. No, I'm not guilty, Your Honour. Yeah, you did. I heard you. I'm not guilty, Your Honour. Yeah, you. Nope, honestly. I'm going to see how I keep you tired. I'm going to jump.
<laughs> do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember Tony that. reckons to find you. Do you reckon, Tim? Tim didn't hear it. Really good. I heard it. I think if we, if we, if we got another five of that paste on postage. Oh, would it? Mm. Mm. We half find them then. Yeah, we half find them. <laughs> we half find them both, then we got some great money. How much have we got in the kitty? You got thirty quid. So five would help, wouldn't it? Mm. <laughs> well, what we'll do, Norman? You, you you know the address for the fines. We'll, we'll let you decide what your fine is, <laughs> and we'll make it a moral dilemma for you. Yeah. <laughs> Norman pays the full amount. We can pay. <laughs> Get up on your weekly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Your Honour. 50 a week. No, I mean, you haven't got to go and ask your missus, have you? No, no. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've got diesel in the car. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the trouble is I can't get out because the wife's blocked us in. <laughs> you have to ask if you can go. Yes, you have to ask if you can go. <laughs> She's got me prisoner. <laughs> got me keys. <laughs> and in the purse with the other things yep they're there <laughs> anyway like I say we'll, we'll leave it to, to Norman what he wants to do he's got till 9 o'clock in the morning to decide yep mm -hmm. let's have a look <laughs> oh dear what you say, Norm? All of a sudden, there's a birthday next week. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be the li live crew one, would it? Tim's. Uh, we'll let you off, Norm. I was going to say. We'll let you off. <laughs> I'm going to win it. I want to learn his lesson. <laughs> that was one of them. Just when you sit down, it just comes out automatically. I'm drinking coffee now. Dog, no more bourbon. Get back to your bed. <laughs> Can't talk to wife like that. I was just going to say, lots of jokes. Can I leave that one alone? <laughs> yeah. Mute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> we can probably get a kit for 30 quid though, Tim, can't we? Yeah, we how, how about we pick a muscle car kittens and muscle car bill? Come on. Oh, that's quite a good idea. Yeah, that could be because they're fairly they're around that price. Yeah, I mean, yeah. In fact, Frey's got some on his site. Hold on, Paul. Oh, I've got look. Yeah, there are a few. See what we could do as well is have it posted directly to them too. That'd be helpful. Yeah, instead of having it posted to like Tim or you or something. They're not in um unless it's miles away, obviously. Don't trust anything after fifty Norman. <laughs> I know that one well, mate. Did I tell you these these holes are excellent, Paul? From UMP. You mind them? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Revel, uh, nineteen sixty nine Camaro Z twenty eight. Yeah, I've got that. It's a good looking car. That is. Oh, I've got. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, it's nice, it? They were one sixteenth scale Citroen DS nineteen. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be cool, that wouldn't it? Yeah, so it's, except it's hella. Yeah. Yes. That would be cool. That, that's the scary part of it. No, that would be terrible. Worse, that could be another helicopter. The Dodge I'm... Coronet. That's that is not a lovely looking car. The Dodge Coronet. That foose boxing. 
Um, Hunter Andrews, if that's a number for the draw, mate, you're about an hour too late. <laughs> yeah, you're you tad late there, buddy. You won't see that for a long time, that, that comment up us. Needs to click live. 70 Mustang boss, that was quite a nice looking car. Yeah, I was looking at that one myself. Dodge there. Dart Hemi, that's a cool looking car. What's, what's the one that had, is it a Plymouth that's got that big, massive, ridiculous the wing? Thing? Thunderbird, is it? Yeah. Is it a Thunderbird? I think it is. They'll correct you in the chat. I think. Andrew Callis is there. He'll let us know. So they'd be quite cool, I reckon. Sure, I'm sure it'll be a Plymouth. It is a Plymouth. Plymouth. I what model it is. Andy will tell us. Superbird. That's it. Yeah. Super that was close. Yeah. I don't think it's, it sounds right, but this sounds wrong. So we'll way around, wait, wait, he's got a couple Some people of saying road runner or superbird. The yeah. Andy, the Plymouth with a massive spoiler on the back, the big yeah. like super B. That's it, super B. It's a charger with a nose cone and a, and a big wing. I'm going to say essentially that's all they did to it, weren't it? They just put a different, a long and made it longer. <laughs> Be surprised as able as ever able to do on that car. It's huge as it is, yeah. But they put a nose code on the front for aerodynamics and a massive spoiler for downforce. Yeah, super bird. Oh, Charger Daytona. Yeah. What's that all painted? If you're going to do a muscle car, I think the Camaro. Uh, 67 Camaro 427 is a good looking car. I think I'm still going to do the Hemi Q, do I think? You've got the 67, 60 Chevy Impala. Good looking car. Well, I've got a review to you in a few days as well. The Hobby Boss, I think it's a King Tiger. Oh, yeah. First bit of armor review for a while. Been eyeing up that main king tiger, but yeah, was it you that said? Did you say the hobby boss one was better? Oh, is it, oh I think it's something else. That ball. Wow, see in a bit, Paul. Yes, yeah, a bus to Germany. Wow, damn, that's a long trip. It's bad enough just going downtown on a night just to get lashed. Right, well, it's seven o'clock. I think we'll call it a night as well. Mm. well thanks to everybody that's watched and commented, and the winners. and everything else and uh thanks to tim and dan and graham for all their bits of done and norman for joining us and burping <laughs> <laughs> and uh we'll catch you guys all next week keeping out um over the weekend i should have a review of the sanders up i'll have that tank it up uh review up and uh a bench update as well sometime through the week and that's it so catch you later guys and girls bye bye, bye. Good weekend, bye. 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 bye.